Hello? Hello? Okay, now it's working. Uh, I don't know what that was about. That's cool. Thanks for sub, Shimmy. Thanks for sub, Grave Blood. Thanks for sub, Nate Fox. Thanks for sub, Andy. Thanks for sub, Freak. Hello, everyone. Thanks for sub, Chow. Thanks for sub, G Man. Thanks for sub, Kratos. Hello, everyone. No, the new mic stand did not betray me. I think voice meter betrayed me. Voice meter sometimes just glitches out. Thanks for the reset, Rustife. Hey, Glank, thanks. What's my favorite sound? My favorite sound is the sound of picking up a bomb drop. It is a very satisfying sound and is associated with, with uh, happiness. Thanks for resub Mad Ors. Thanks for resub Gay Plushy. Thanks for resub MP3 Heaven. Thanks for the sub Ford Fin Ranger. No, not in Minecraft, in OOT. Thanks for resub, Josh. Thanks for resub, Dog... Doggard? Hi, Stumpy. Thanks for getting five subs. Thanks for resub, Killer Biscuit. Thanks for resub, Kyle Kilgore. Minecraft in OOT speedrun? No. I will not play Minecraft in OOT. Am I excited? What am I? What should I be excited for? Thanks, resub emo love tree. Thanks, resub tunequil. Thanks, resub Turo. Thanks, resub fear. February twenty. Oh yes, of course, February twenty first. What else would I be excited for? Yes, February twenty first um, has been decided. There will be something on February 21st yet again. Thanks, Resub Knocked Army. I won't say what it is, but um, it should be interesting. No, it's not Tears of the Kingdom. It's an OOT. I will say it's an OOT Lotad. OOT Lotad slash Tad slash whatever you want to call it. And it will be an interesting concept. Oh, also, um, doing something new with the settings today. So, I'm trying out a scarce item pool. So, what this means is it's going to reduce the number of um, items that have multiple uh, upgrades. So now, instead of three bomb bags, there's going to be two. Instead of three bows, there's going to be two. Instead of three hook shots, or no, three... Slingshots because there's going to be two. There's still going to be two hook shots because long shot. Yeah, so less bows, less slingshot, less bomb bag, and also less bomb chews, which I think is the big one. Because I think chews are kind of OP. Because chews, you could have as much as like 10 different uh, possible chew um, locations, and now it's only three. 
Strength, no. There's still three strengths because each one is unique. Each one has unique uh, properties. The, the Only the ones that have... That are capacity-only upgrades. So, uh, bow, bomb, slingshot, bomb, chew, magic. I think those are the ones. So, it also means only one magic. Yeah, it's still two ocarinas. Oh, I don't know about capacity upgrades. Uh, let me check capacity upgrades, actually. I made a test seed earlier for uh, checking this. Checking the spoiler log of my test seed. Um, oh yeah, okay, so deck of stick and deck of nut capacity are only one upgrade now instead of two. Oh yeah, it doesn't affect wallets because um, wallets are have unique properties like they're not the exact same item with... I mean, technically they are just a higher capacity, but in that case the higher capacity actually has unique functions in a, in that you can buy things that you couldn't buy with a lower wallet. So no, it doesn't affect wallets. Yes, there's only one magic. There's only there's gonna be two bows, two bomb bags, two slingshots, one magic, three bomb shoes. Instead of um how there used to be three of bomb bag, slingshot, bow, and then two magics. Thanks, Risa, Moose Crap. Thanks, Risa, Old Murray. Yeah, so this should this should make the seed harder in general. And remember that when you are doing your gamba. Uh, I assume it'll just be small magic. Thanks, Resub Akatsuki Chase. Thanks, Resub Sneak Tub. Starting as adult, three emerald. Oh, I should probably put the new settings thing in the text. Actually, I don't even know how to work. You know what? I'm not going to bother putting it in there. It'll be weird to word. But yeah, just remember, um, the items with multiple upgrades are going to be lower, lower number of total ones. Yeah, the upgrades are just replaced by junk. All right. Uh, Rose Fountain, Shadow Temple has magic. So that's the only magic. I have no other option. 
That's a rupee. Or ice arrows, couldn't tell. No, I'm not stuck here because I have uh, Open Zora's Fountain. In fact, I started using Open Zora's Fountain specifically for this situation. This is water. Water. Vanilla. I think you're getting five subs, Gogus. Wait, why is Volve making making people mad? Thanks, we said, Cash Sneak. Best OT ROM hack. Uh, for best OT ROM hack, it depends on if you want something long or high quality. There's essentially there's like three or four different ROM hacks uh, that are worth playing. If you just want like the most well-made one, uh, Missing Link, but it's only like two to three hours. Um, Gold Quest is a full length, uh, full length and like just, uh, different versions of regular OOT maps. If it's, if you want like Master Quest-ish type thing. Uh, Nimpies is like a mix of harder original OOT maps and then also new maps. And Master of Time is all new maps but kind of rough around the edges. So, yeah. I recommend, so yeah, if you want higher quality, but okay with a shorter one, Master, uh, not Master of Time, um, Missing Link. If you want something longer, but more unique, uh, Nimpies, Master of Time. Master of Time if you want if you want a funny ROM hack, Master of Time is a good one. Yeah, Dark Hyrule, Hyrule Fantasy demo is cool, but it is just a demo. It's only gonna last you like an hour. That's why I, I when people ask like recommended ROM hacks, I generally stick to completed ones. Hello? I definitely let my own oh, no, is my my controller might be getting the L trigger the sticky L trigger thing again. Job is in Ganon's castle. Controller dying. Not necessarily dying, but I might need to do controller surgery. This happens like, I don't know, maybe like once a year or something, where, uh, I should go down here. Where, um, the L or R trigger on my controller just starts, um, getting pressed even when I let go of it. And it gets really annoying sometimes. I, I only noticed it there for a second. I'm not, I need to, need to see if it happens again to be sure. But it definitely felt like it happened a second ago. Uh, nothing. Hey, hey, hey. 
No, not like a full digital press. It's like if you look at my input viewer, if you ever see me, uh, what looks like let go of the controller, or let go of the L trigger, and then you still see it like just barely sticking out, even though I should have let go of it. Then that's the thing I'm talking about. Thanks, Reset Abazuvia. I mean, I do clean my controller fairly regularly. What am I even farming for? Just go to Water Temple. Thanks, Reset Nessus. Big Ron Junk. And like I know how to I know how to fix it. It's just annoying when I have to do it. I'm surprised Sunshine- well actually, okay, I think Sunshine is winning only because Galaxy 1 and 2 are splitting the vote. I bet that most people choosing one of the galaxies would probably choose the other one over Sunshine. Oh my god, please. SMS is more fun to watch. Yeah, I will say SMS is more fun to watch as like a speed run, but uh, I prefer the Galaxy games. Well, I'm not sure which one. Which one I prefer switches, so I don't know if I'd vote one or two. I've heard it too because I like the dumb Yoshi glitch, basically. Well, if it wasn't for the dumb Yoshi glitch, then I'd probably prefer one. My favorite non Zelda speedrun trick? Um, Metroid Prime's Out of Bounds is really cool. I really like how, how you navigate Out of Bounds in the Prime games. Dread stuff, yeah. Some of Dread stuff is really cool. The Shine Shine Spark Sync is really cool in Dread. Um, where do I even want to go? I guess I have to cross all of Hyrule Field. Go to Keck. Oh yeah, Pokemon BDSP. The everything you can do with the menu glitch in BDSP 1.1.1. That's good. I wonder if I should make a stop to Kikuri on my way to CAC. I think it's a critique. Stop and could, or wait, should I? If I can make it before night, I think I should stop and could carry about. I don't think I will. There's no way, right? Maybe? No.
Random money shoves with starting wallet? What do you mean by that? Do you mean like start with a larger wallet and then have the scrubs be a random amount of money? I I don't want random amount of money from the scrubs period because I think it's just going to be way too expensive overall. Like I think the shops are a good balance of it might be pretty expensive. But at least there's a limited number of shops like and it's easier to remember what shop to go back to where I think it'd be super annoying if I have to remember what scrub grottos to go back to to buy from the bossy that must be shadow not Oh, I should have checked Skulltable House. Twenty is Spirit Key. Forty's Bomb the Wall Key Ring. Thirties junk. Fifties junk. Ten is an ocarina. Thank you. Shots also in shadow, that's fantastic. So hookshot and hookshot and magic are both in shadow. On one hand, it's good that they're near each other. On the other hand, shadow is not the greatest to do early on. Yeah, so shadow loaded. Ocarina of Time teaches Megaton Hammer. Wow. And that said spirit was MQ, right? Or, let me just check. Yeah, spirit's MQ, gun is MQ. Slingshot. And remember, Slingshot, there's only two of them now instead of three, so that's actually an important one. When's the next Nintendo Direct? Uh, my uncle who works at Nintendo says next week. Uh, one at KO, never. Shuffled Master Sword. If Shuffled Master Sword is an option, I'll, I'll probably try it. But I'm never doing one at KO. Oh my god, why? Dude. Oh my god. Water key. Thanks, Resubs, good boy. Actually, I should have. Let me at least check if that's another upgrade. No.
GDG 315. Uh, uh, I should actually buy sticks. Uh, I don't know if I should buy sticks. Because if I don't, I can equip swap right now. Actually, I should buy sticks. I can actually equip swap on the other side. Never mind. So actually, yeah. And I almost forgot Roof Guy. Fires MQ. I'd like to know about Shadow. Shadow MQ. Sh if Shadow. Whether or not Shadow's MQ is gonna make a big difference. Or could make a big difference. Oh, Serenade's up there. No. Oh my god, please. Playing bad today. Grenade. Sorry, you can't listen to it right now, but it'll come back. Last Ocarina of Time is Boomerang. Well, I already know what Ocarina of Time is, and it's not Boomerang, but it's Hammer. Uh, same, same family of items. Or wait, did I say Boomerang? I, I meant Song of Time is Hammer, yes. Egg. Egg serenade. <laughs> Things are reset, isn't That is so convenient. Uh, 
If I didn't get shield here, doing QPA here would be super annoying, and I'd basically just be forced to leave. Skill could junk. Only two slingshots now because I put on the scarce. Uh, I put on the scarce item pool setting, which means that items with multiple upgrades that are only capacity upgrades uh, now have one less of them. So now there's only two bomb bags. Sunsung 40. That's super good. So now there's um, there's only two bomb bags, uh, two bows, two slingshots, one magic, three bomb chews. And so, uh, the... And so that means the, uh, those upgrades are going to be a bit harder to find now. Is that nuts on the mountain? I think that's nuts. Yeah, that's a nut. Uh, let me do this actually. Is this a good? That's not a good idea. I made a mistake. Uh, I'll just be able to. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I I made like three different decisions in my head that I went back on. Everything worked out fine. This is actually fine. What I was trying to do is I was thinking. Okay, I'm gonna go out the top of DMT, and then I'm gonna get the Night Skull in the trail, and then I'm gonna Death Warp back up, and then get the thing in the wall. But then if I do that, my respawn is gonna be in Goron City, and I'd have to do something really dumb to get back to Goron City. And it was gonna be all really annoying, and then I realized I should've just ignored the top of DMC and just gone straight into... Uh, to the wall, but then that may be kind of late, but it's okay because it was a junk item anyway. Oh yeah, I do have strength. I could've just done that. Oh well. Shadow's vanilla, okay. Actually, I should check skulls for the tokens if they're cheap. They're not cheap. Yeah, that song's from Elden Ring. Nice. Oh, 
frogs. Frog's bed. Or final frogs, at least. Hyrule Castle Foolish. Uh, I shouldn't do this right now. Yeah, that means Drifter is also foolish, dude. No, I want the nuts. Thanks to resub, Jarla. Poacher Slow? Uh, I already know... Okay. I know that... Uh, actually, wait. Do I want this or not? Um, yeah. Okay. Those things might be bad for equip reasons, but no, it's good. Okay, so I know Big One Sword is junk, but there are cases where a cutscene item, in that case, the saw, could be useful. Okay, Zor's Domain, Song of Storms, is junk. Key over there. I think I can kill that skull at least to check it. A boss key? Okay. I will be coming back here. I can't get that right now, but... Oh, that means water boss key, actually. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go to Childs. Uh, that was a GTG key rate, right? Alright, I'm gonna give this West one try. Get up there, please. Why is it so hard to get up that slope? Oh, Dungeon, what I say is my favorite skips and glitches. Um, Spirit or Water Temple, I think.
Okay, just gonna check the skull here. Make it nighttime. Go, child. Yeah, MQ Water has some cool stuff. Well, actually, MQ Water has some cool stuff, but a lot of it I don't really get to do in Randomizer much. Low health is Iron Boots. Cool. Nocturne bed. Count house bed. Bad of Nipple Magic. Already know. Good Fortress, Song of Storms, got a normal. Okay, that was Nocturne and... How did I forget already? Nocturne and what other thing was bad? Count House, that's it. Deku shield yet. When's the free lessons from Cody and Melee? I don't know. Presumably whenever whenever I feel like just becoming a melee player. That was pretty neat. My my new teammate got second to Genesis. Rash the street fire lessons from Brian F. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I got second in Genesis. Of course, that's how it works. Uh, Bill two eighty five. Okay, so I know Hyrule Castle's junk, but I do. I know that I need both Skulltulas and a Deku Shield would be nice right now, so I'm actually gonna get those two. The prices, yeah. So the prices, I increased the prices from um, a range of zero to three hundred, which I was playing with before, to zero to five hundred. So that's why the prices have been really high. The the uh, flip side of it, the reason I did that is to balance out the fact that I have wallets uh, start with max rupees now. So when I get an adult's wallet, it'll automatically be full. Same with Giant's wallet and Tycoon wallet. But I think it balances out. Inflation, yeah. I know, there actually is not one less wallet because uh, the wallets actually have unique properties for each upgrade in, it, in that you can buy other things that you couldn't buy before. So there's still three wallets. I should have waited like, oh no, that was perfect. Okay, that was actually like frame perfect.
Is that a stick upgrade? No. Can I get a deck of shields? Yes. Is that stone? 475, nice. Stone seems to be in shops a lot. I'm using the fennel branch. If you want to see the exact version I'm using, um, it's on the file select screen whenever I load up file select. Or if you just want to check like the beginning of the VOD. Uh, actually, I should save. Should I save warp? Let me go do Cuckoo's and then save warp. Let me equip shield. Only it was nighttime. Oh, actually, I probably want to check one of the world too. Every time. They've set up key. I do still have Navi, right? Yeah. I am not doing more for right now. Let's see where save warp goes. So, I've, I found three bosses so far. I found Baronade, Phantom Ganon, and Morpha. Lawn Lawn. Well, I can do Daytime Lawn Lawn. In fact, I maybe should have done this earlier, actually. Barbarous King, thanks for the raid. Hello, everyone. What's up, guys? How are you all doing? I don't have an ocarina for Melon. Yeah, I have a uh, custom music on on this randomizer too.
Although despite the custom music, this is almost vanilla. Not quite vanilla, but pretty close. There's something funny while everyone's here. I can't say something funny. I've never been funny in my life. Water key. You think it's funny when I mess up and say dude? That's hilarious. You, you think it's so funny? You think my pain is so funny, don't you? I think I'm gonna go to actually wait. Uh Zoro's River is a bad idea. I'm gonna go to Kikiri. Uh, yeah, you should be able to do a crouch stab with Giant's Knife, um, and, like, do it in just the right way so that it doesn't count as taking a hit. Yeah, there is actually an OTMM combo randomizer now. Um, I'll probably try it soonish. Nice backflip. Uh, the bunny ears make me run faster. They actually don't make you run faster in the original game. It's only in Majora's Mask, but uh, Randomizer adds a feature for the bunny ears to make you run faster, which is nice just for convenience, quality of life, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I guess just go to Lost Woods. Can you get my hate on the recent Pokemon games again? Uh, yeah, Scarlet Violet bad. Except good sometimes, but mostly bad. There's the shortened version of it. Thanks resub midi. Thanks resub laserek. Thanks resub not nodrum. Yeah, Ocarina's hammer, which is uh, not great. Boomerang, that's nice. Actually, that's, that's really nice this early. And I know where Baronade is. Gonna get the rare Baronade as my first boss. Yeah, so, um, yeah, OT having hammer could be bad if Fulbaja has a spiritual stone. So I am going to have to look out for that. Uh, Boomerang doesn't kill them, right? Yeah, just stuns. I was hoping to save a stick there. I could have done ISG, but I didn't want to waste my time with it.
Skull's bad? No, actually. Skull's kind of good this seed. Um, they have... Skulls have a key ring and ocarina. And ocarina is only 10 skulls also, so I do want to get that quickly. Colossus is foolish. It's a good hint. Uh, Bunny Hood speed is the same as backwalking speed. So, not. Uh, it's only good if you can't pass, really. Minuet, minuet in Sacred Force Meadow. Don't have an ocarina yet, but I should in just a few. I should get ocarina soon. I only need three more skulls for it. Uh, the magic hint was Shadow Temple. And because I'm playing with the scarce item pool setting, that means my only magic is in Shadow Temple. Uh, do I want to go to Goron City or Zora's River? Uh, I think Zora's River, and I'm going to come back to Goron City. Wait, I don't have... Yeah, I saw a scale in shop. I don't actually have scale right now. Oh, did I forget to check the hints? I'm stupid. Um, I'm double stupid. Whatever, I have Navi. Uh, scarce item pool is, uh, it means that any items that have an upgrade that's just a capacity upgrade, they have a reduced item count. So normally there's three bomb bags because there's, um, the regular bomb bag and then two bomb bag upgrades. And there's uh, three bows for the same reason, three slingshots, um, many more packs of bomb chews, and two magics. But for this, they're all reduced by one. So that, and now instead of I don't have rupees, now instead of uh, three bows, there's two. Instead of three bomb bags, there's two. Instead of two magics, there's one. So it just makes it a little bit harder to find the important items. Oh my god. Give me a piece. Oh my god, dude. I need more. This isn't enough. Uh, okay, I know what to do. This is going to be very awkward because I don't want the Cucko to run anywhere bad. Uh, I hope I can do this fast enough. I really want to make it into Zora's Domain before it turns daytime, so this is going to be rough. Please don't run in the water. Okay. Oh, please don't be dumb. Please don't run the water while I'm checking this. Blink shot. Oh no, I'm not gonna make it in before day before daytime. Am I, dude? Where'd the cuckoo go? You idiot. Oh my god. I have to go all the way back down for him.
The unfortunate thing is that it's worth it for the slingshot. Slingshot's really good. But now I'm gonna miss two Skulltulas in nighttime Zora's Fountain. I shouldn't have equipped over sticks. That's really bad. Uh... Oh no, how am I gonna do this? I need to kill myself. I can't even die. Dude, I don't have a way back up. Oh my god, except a stupid Wes. I can't even do the Wes. Uh, wow, I'm really mad. No, I can't avoid. There's no avoid. Well, technically there is, but I don't know how to do it because it's re really precise. Uh, dude, what do I even do? You know what? I'm gonna go. Is this a good idea? No, it's not a good idea. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I can do Slingshot in Lost Woods. Now I have nine skulls, not ten. That's the, the awful thing. All the, I've been checking the shop skulls, they're all too expensive for me. Really have the last one missed if I was shooting the same place all three times. Well, the seed is hard, but it's kind of expected because uh, I am using the scarce item pool, so I mean, it's supposed to be hard. Yeah, I probably I probably lost so much time that I can easily make Source of Main at night time now. That's great. It is the Coco's fault. I need to find a good way to throw the Coco in this area without it running away. Because this area, like, the twisty paths and stuff are all really not good for the Coco not being an idiot and running into the water. And so I need to come up with a strat for that. Okay, I'm gonna check, uh, I think I'm gonna check Zora's Fountain first, and then do the torches after. Then probably Lake Hylia? Or, do I want to do Lake Hylia or Kak next? And maybe I'll save Warp, actually. Come on, grab it. Fire key. Oh, which, what did that say? Go to fortress, or wait. Oh, death on crit, okay. 
So Death Mountain Crater. Oh, so I know I know uh, fire fire entrance and GTG entrance mostly bosses also. Jabu is fire MQ. No, oh, dude. Dude, how are two sticks broken because of him? Technically, do I want to go in that key door? I think I can. I can only. No, I actually can't right now. I can. I can make a chest spawn. I can't get the chest that will spawn. Uh, or wait, I can't do this either. I need to just leave. Yeah, I gotta people leave. I'll be burning it. I will soon. When I go back down to CAC so that I can go get Ocarina. Which I'll probably I'm probably gonna do this. Save warp. Get uh Night Lawn Lawn stuff. And then hopefully I can run to uh CAC quick enough to get night CAC stuff. Why'd I do that? I just did an extremely stupid thing. And he had just bailed the torches. For some reason I put away stick intentionally and I don't know why. I wonder if I should just QPA the torches. No. Should actually grab another stick. There's ten, so I can get Ocarina now. I forgot I lit that torch. I should have just done that. Wait, now I'm gonna. This is gonna run out. What am I doing? I forgot how to play the game. Thanks to sub Kara Mystery. Uh, 
Uh, skull rewards are Ocarina at 10, which I'm gonna go get very soon. Um, Bomb of the Well key ring at, what was it, 30? Bomb of the Well key ring and uh, another compass. Okay, Spirit Entrance is also a boss. Okay, I have a lot of um, dungeon entrances as bosses. In fact, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six dungeon entrances so far are already bosses. That's a good indicator that I'm gonna get a long dungeon chain. Especially if I find one more. Right, hopefully I can make it to CAC on time before it turns daytime. Unfortunately, I can't make it to Dampe. Okay, I should make it. Yeah, the fact that I haven't gotten any shadow keys yet is slightly worrying. That's starting to indicate that shadow might be a key ring. And considering the importance of shadow with both my hookshot and magic, uh, that could be problematic. Yeah, I, I am gonna get Ocarina soon, so I guess it doesn't really- Nighttime isn't gonna matter that much. Fire key... Arena. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go beat Baronade. That'll make it daytime, and then I'll play Sunsong, make it early night, so I can do Dampe and then do Graveyard after that. Uh, only problem is I'm gonna have to clip into the DC entrance, which I th should remember the setup for, hopefully. No, I have Sunsong. It's just that, uh... For Dampe, it needs to be early night, not just nighttime, period. And if you play Sunsong in an area where time doesn't pass, like Kakariko, it becomes midnight. Which does not work for Dampe. Or wait, uh... How did the setup go? Oh no. I do have bomb flower. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, I'll use the bomb flower. You can clip into the rock though. If I remembered the setup. Does this cutscene still happen in Rando? No, okay, good.
Do the antennas make you faster? Uh, it is the bunny hood, but yes, it makes you faster. Although it only makes you faster in randomizer, it's, uh, it doesn't actually do that in the vanilla game. It's just a randomizer exclusive option. the slow turn. For a sapphire, that's good. So actually, it might be worth it to try doing Morpho without Hookshot. Because if I only need a single uh, Spiritual Stone now, if I only need Goron Ruby to get uh, Hammer, then I probably should like just rush the bosses, even if I... Like, I might even do uh, Phantom Ganon with QPA if I have to. Actually, Phantom Ganon might be best to do his child right now. Where's Phantom? Phantom Ganon was a water temple, right? Uh, I think this was a stick, actually, right? I might actually want to grab that just because I'm so low on sticks. Yeah, uh, I might go do Phantom Ganon as child. I am going to go to water temple any or like highly anyway. Oh wait, did it say Gorn Ruby was fire entrance? It did, right. Okay, uh... Hmm... As annoying as I can't really get there without explosive... Or I can, but not... Or no, no I can't. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm still gonna go to Lake Hylia. Um... Okay, so in that case, well, I don't know. Okay, then it's probably not worth it beating Phantom Ganon's child. Uh, no, don't get that. Okay, yeah, in that case, I don't think I'll beat Phantom Ganon's child. A big po bottle, I think. That's actually kind of good. I wish I had a scale for that. No, you can't boomerang the bottle. Needs either, um... 
You need to either be in the diving animation or the walking animation, which essentially means either scale or iron boots. And obviously, I'm shy, so I can't use iron boots. Uh, you can even be in range of it with boomerang, and it still doesn't pick it up. Oh, uh, where am I going now? I think... I go to market... or wait. Do I want to go to... I do not know where I want to go right now. Uh... No, I'm going to diminue it. There's no way to get blank A in in uh, Lake Hylia. I think in theory, if you got blank A, I think it would work. Although I can't say for sure, but there's just no place to get blank A in Lake Hylia. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought it said Gen's Bosky, and I was confused. At least the whole castle isn't inside Jabu again. Well, actually, I got a hint earlier that said that exact thing. Ganon's castle is, or, uh, Gan yeah, Ganon's castle entrance is Jabu. Bottom the world's vanilla. Gorn City, I guess. Um, okay, I'm going to try a few weird things that I don't know if they are good ideas. I talked to him with Bunnyhood. Uh, whatever. I'll come back. That just unloads that statue. Uh, am I gonna have time to get to the skull? I might have to go through the loading zone. Yeah. Er. Okay. 
Shadow Entrance to Spirit Temple. Um Okay, let me try rolling Goron with a bomb flower again. I kinda wanna go back to adult, but adult isn't gonna be able to do anything. I have like nothing to work with as adult. With these settings, magic only has one check and bow has two. Because I changed the settings. Yeah, wallet still has three. Okay, uh... You know what? Uh, let me do this. I need to check some nighttime stuff that I couldn't get earlier. Yeah, I have scarce settings on. Scarce item pool. What if medium Gordon sold big Gordon sword? <laughs> well, actually, in the seed I did just a few days ago, I did actually get um, Medi Goron selling big Goron sword. Spirit key. Uh, I think I gotta go to adult. Can I do Ice Cavernous Child? With, since I have a projectile with Boomerang, I might be able to do this, or at least a little bit. I can't do all of it, but I can probably do some of it. Oh, I should farm sticks also. Actually, wait, this is not a good idea. I can't do anything in here without a bottle, at least. I'm stupid. Or explosives. Uh, well, I really don't have much to do. And first, scarce item pool, uh, first scarce item pool thing is really going the way I guess I should have expected. I guess I can do daytime melon now. I guess I should do that before I go adult. Uh, I want to go to Fire Temple. The only way to Fire Temple right now would be doing Pot Push as adult, which I still haven't learned, but I guess now might be a good excuse to learn it. Because I really do want to go to Fire Temple. Thanks, this uh, DG Bowers. Oh, you know what? I should go to Grid of Valley. I don't know why I haven't done that.
Okay, so it, it might look like the seed is going really slow, but the seed could actually end up going pretty fast later on because I've already found um, six bosses in dungeon entrances. And since I only need seven dungeon awards, uh, and I start with one, that means like theoretically I could just beat all the bosses not in dungeons. Um, I have, I don't know what those what three of those bosses are yet. They could be like Tunaroba and uh, Volvagia. Actually, I don't know where Volvagia is yet. I guess Volvagia. If Volvagia is Fire Temple boss, that's gonna be funny because that'll be impossible hammer. But yeah, th so this could, um, this could be, it, it might seem bad now, but it could end up going fast. I do have sons, and I just completely skipped skull. I'm stupid. Uh, I'll just fly over here and void out. Would it be worth it going to G, it might actually be worth it to go, uh, to do Coco Jump and go to GTG right now. But that means I have to do Cuckoo Jump, and I haven't done Cuckoo Jump with sticks in forever. Uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, Hammer would be really nice right now, it's just I don't have a good way to get to Fire Temple. I have no hookshot, no hover boots, no explosives. I can technically do a jump there as adult, but I don't really know it and I have to go learn it. I think it's probably not that hard for any to do this. Hookshot hit is Shadow Temple, which I have not found yet. Did I get it? I did get it, okay. All right, I am not sure if I remember how this goes. If I get this, it's gonna be kind of luck. I have bunny hood. So the reason this is good is, um, actually I guess there's a few different reasons. I can do the GTG guards, or not, the G I can do the guards. I can go into GTG. I know GTG is a boss, I don't know what boss. I think same with Spirit Temple. Uh, yes, we are one month away from new low Ted. That will be a thing on February 21st. Thanks for the sub, Bomber.
I don't know. How'd the setup go? I just learned it like last week. I didn't need you all the way up here. I'm stupid. Thanks, Arisa, Peter. Free the homies. I only have one homie I can free right now, so I'm freeing this guy because he's the one that takes the longest. No, this is this is a boss I already knew from a compass. So it's still only six uh, bosses in a world uh, entrances. The only one, the only dungeon entrance I don't know yet is Forest Temple. And unless I get either explosives or hookshot, I can't check that. Yeah, so I could be getting a giant dungeon chain. My only dungeons I've actually found so far are. Light Medallion. My only dungeons so far are Fire and Spirit. Fire, Spirit, and Water. And Jabu. Okay, never mind. Four dungeons. Yeah, dungeon chains can lead to an unbeatable seed. Oh, come on. But I'm playing no logic. No logic can always be unbeatable. That's just how it works. Can't see. Where am I? I has through here so much that I don't know the normal way. I mean, I know the normal way, but I'm just not used to it. sticks here. I don't think so. I 
Spirit Bosky, that's good. That's two Boskies I have and one that I know where it is. It's not a new QPA setup, it's just uh, one that I don't have to do as often. Uh, I don't know if there's a guide on it, there might be a video on it, but all it is is you pull out Deku Stick and you press A to put it away and then the frame after you throw a Deku Nut. And then you just have to break the stick in a way that would give you uh, the broken Deku Stick glitch. Stick up there. Rudo Cow Junk. What boss is this? Bongo. I can be Bongo. It'll be a little bit weird. Ice sheet. Ice sheet's a hard glitch. Yeah, I am ruling out bosses that uh, Fire Temple entrance could be that are not Volvagia. So at this point, Fire Entrance boss cannot be Baronade, Phantom Ganon, Bongo, Morpha, or Goma. Which means it can only be King Dodongo, uh, Twinrova, or Volvagia. So, one third chance that hammer is impossible. Fire Medallion. Yeah, I may not even need hammer. The, okay, so the one thing about Hammer the Seed is that, um... I actually need to do this to get the Requiem check. The one thing about Hammer the Seed is that I have Hammer... I have a Master Quest Fire Temple, which you need Hammer to even go past the first room. Uh, but you can do a Void Warp to make up for it, to get past the first room without Hammer. But I need Furore's Wind and Magic for the Void Warp. Okay, um... Now I think I go adult. Thanks to reset, Amahara. Skull to the count. Uh, I don't think it's 20 yet. Is it 20? Let me check. Yeah, I check market. 19. And my, my skull tell account is only in increments of 10 now, so I'm not updating it until I get 20. Uh, I guess just go adult. So, with four dungeon rewards, I can get into Jabu, which is Ganon's castle. Uh, I don't know if I want Jabu to be 
vanilla or master quest at this point. If it's master quest, it's gonna be much harder to check without Din's fire for equip swap or bow, I guess. Thanks for reset of hidden Horcrux. Master Quest dungeons have different puzzles and stuff, which also means they can have different item requirements for checks in terms of randomizer. Is Nuts really the only thing I can equip right now as adult? I can equip Poacher's Saw. Okay, it's vanilla. I can't hit the thing unless I... oh my god. This is gonna be dumb. See if I remember how to do this. Man, scarce item pool is uh, really turning out rough, which I mean I should have expected. Come on. No, this won't be a nine hour seed. I don't think, I think by the end it won't actually turn out to be all that long. Oh my god. I don't want to do this. I'm leaving. Yeah, there's still there's still two hook shots because long shots a separate item. Um, what do I want to do? No, th there's uh, two bomb bags and three chews. So it's not it's not um fire rows. It's not there's one of everyone there's there's still two of the ones that normally have three there is there is an option for minimal which would only have like one bomb bag one uh bow but i only have scarce on yeah so there's two bows two bomb bags um two slingshots three bomb shoes and one magic Um, <laughs> idiot. Can I get a bottle already? There's no difference in bottles, but I still haven't found a bottle yet.
There's multiple bows and bomb bags because of upgrades. In the normal game, there's two bow upgrades, and because all upgrades are progressive in Rando, that means that the first one you get is going to be the regular one, and then the next two are going to be upgrades. Where am I going? Actually, you know what? I can do this. I don't know how good of an idea this is. I did see a bottle in Lake Hylia that I need a scale to get. I hate hessing off bomb flowers. The timing is so awkward. Yeah, if you if you don't have a bow and there are two bows in the same area, uh, the other bow will actually visually change to a quiver. Uh, I did actually get that situation once and I tested it, which is actually pretty cool. I actually should have done this as child so that I could get the sculpture here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do pot push here, which I have no idea how to do. I am gonna have to look up a video right now. Uh, I remember there being a recent-ish setup. What are about this? No, there's definitely a better set than this. I need to search the Discord. Of course, it's a Discord video without a YouTube video, that's why I couldn't find it.
What? Where didn't that work? Goron Ruby is Fire Temple Entrance, but I don't have a way to get to Fire Temple Entrance aside from this right now. And that's why I'm trying to do this. Wait, this doesn't look right. There's something different between the video and what I'm doing, and I don't know what it is. It is two ESS turns, right? Yeah, it's definitely two ESS turns. Try this frame early. Actually, I should grab hearts. That's late, but let me try anyway. Yeah, see? I'm not stuck, but I'm in a very bad situation and I need to do something dumb to hopefully get out of it, but it might not even get me out of it, depending on how things work out. If I end up finding Volvagia in Fire Entrance, then the seed is going to take a very bad turn. Yeah, 
Yeah, the pod is supposed to push you just a little bit farther during the... when you jump here, but I'm not getting... Wait, I think I know what's going on. No, never mind. I don't. Yeah, I don't see what's going on different than the video. Okay, beta group is low. Actually, I guess now that I think about it, I can't beat any of the bosses that it could potentially be. Because KD, I could beat the boss if I could get into the fight, but I can't actually get into the fight. Actually, maybe I can with QPA? I'm not sure if QPA can break the floor. Uh, but I, it, the only bosses it can be are KD, Twinrova, and Volwagia, and none of them I can actually beat right now. Maybe this is actually a bad idea. Although I want to keep trying it anyway. Yeah, Katie does have the chest beforehand. And also just the knowledge is good. Just knowing is also important. Okay, I'm gonna try this frame. I'm just gonna go. Okay, cool. So that video doesn't even work. That's fantastic. Thanks, Risa, Brandon. Uh, what do I even want to do? should save warp. You know what? Yeah, let me do this. I'm gonna play Sunsong and save warp and go back to Zora's Fountain. Or wait, is that a good idea? I can go back to Water Temple. Can I do anything else in Water Temple yet? No, because I have nothing. Uh, thanks, Resub Saint of BDC. I know where Water Boss Key is. I can't get it though. Um. Yeah, this is not a nice seed. Thanks, Risa Denko. Uh, Hessing Link is faster than... Oh, whoops, I forgot the sculptor. Hessing Link is faster than, uh, Barangay. Hey. Yeah, this is a mean seed. I, I mean, I guess I should have known when I put on... Like, I didn't think... I knew Scarce Item Pool was gonna do something. I didn't think it'd be this bad. I mean, this might also just be bad luck. I don't think it'd be this bad every time. Hopefully. 
Another compass, that could be good information. Oh wait, how am I even gonna get that? I need to be able to kill it while not falling. I know I can, but it's super annoying. Dude, I'm just gonna ignore it. It's a compass. Yeah, I did do Melon. I did wake up telling it Hyrule Castle and do Lomon stuff. Uh, I am at a loss for what to do right now. I could, uh, I could do something really stupid that I really don't want to do. Alright, I, the only things I can think of right now are stupid things. Yeah, I checked the Hyrule Field open grotto. I actually did do Coco Jump already. I already checked uh, Child's Wars River. Well, I guess I can do one frog now. The Sun Song Frog. Yeah, Dins alone would be a lot. Rainbow Bridge at least to Jabu, but Jabu is vanilla. And I actually can't even get past the first room without projectile. Unless I hover to the switch, which I technically can't do, but I kind of don't want to bother relearning that hover. But uh, considering I'm going to have to do something dumb here anyway. Involving dumb enemy manipulation. Maybe I should. Come back. What are you doing? Huh? Dude! Poe went all the way back over there. Poe went home. Please. I have strength. I'm stupid. I forgot. I can't even do Super Saiyan Teleport. I'm gonna have to actually do a regular old hover. I'm going to child. Oh, 
All right, so I'm gonna do one of the dumb things I can do as child. So as child, I can be Phantom Ganon and uh, Morpha. Morpha is gonna have to be without hookshot. Phantom Ganon, I'm gonna have to clip into Water Temple as child. Yeah, I did as many Lost Woods checks as I can. Yeah, and I guess I can get the Goron City Child Skull. No, you can't catch uh, Morpho with Boomerang. You can just uh, do Morpho without doing anything. You just have to like jump in the water and jump slash Morpho as you fall in the water. I did say I want complicated seeds, but uh, it's a bit, a bit much. Chess game. I want to see if I can at least get bottle. If I can get bottle, I can cheese chess game with Sun Song. So I'm not gonna go for chess game right now, but I'll see if I can get a bottle as child. If I do, then I'll I'll cheese chess game. Uh, how many? I need more sticks. I'm gonna go farm sticks first. Bottle would actually open up a lot right now. I could do Ice Cavern, I could do all the Soil Skulls. It would be really nice to get a bottle. How does Suns affect the treasure game? Uh, if you have a bottle, you can do uh, Ocarina items in the treasure chest game to play Sun Song. And that reloads the area. Why am I going this way? It reloads the area, but it doesn't uh, affect the doors you've already opened. So you could say, open two doors, and then the third one you fail. And then you just play Sun Song, it reloads, the first two doors are open, and you can retry the third one again. And so you can use Sun Song to cheese it like that. I should just ASG. That's not the song I wanted. I probably should have gone in the lab first, just for a respawn point. Oh no. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I did go to fishing, yeah. <clears throat> Come on. 
I really need to learn the child setup for this already. Yeah, I did Dampe. Uh, the music is random. I, I have a specific pool of custom music it pulls from, but which tracks it chooses and where they go is random. Spirit Medallion. Okay, now I'll go try to do, um, what's it called? Gonna go try to do Morpha, which is in Bomb the Well. Yeah, NM randomizers are also pretty fun and interesting. The one thing about NM randomizers is that generally it takes longer just because individual checks tend to take longer in MM rando. Um, but it still has, there's still a lot of uh, interesting stuff in NM rando. Yes, dog dog. So I could go into Forest Temple and I could find a boss fight. And also I could go to, say, the Forest Boss Door and I'll find, like, Shadow Temple or something. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't go too bad. Uh, I might not want Bunnyhood for this, or, no, I just need to be aware of Bunnyhood, I think. Should be fine. save right here just because if I do die I'll have easy access to come back because it puts me right outside the boss fight and also have eight sticks which is probably good enough
I'm dead. Yeah. I might not want Bunny Hood here. Try ISG. I feel like ISG takes too long for it to be worth it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die again. <laughs> Would be nice if I had a bottle or something. This is why I didn't want to do more for right now. But I seem to have been forced into this situation. You guys wanted Pumpkin Hill to be played more. So here it is. I can't take off Bunny Hood in here, I forgot. Okay, easy. I just have to remember. Every every time I do it, I just have to remember how to do it. I just like after not doing it for a few months I forget, but then I just have to play it like twice and then I remember. Boomerang does not do anything. Slingshot does not do anything. Horse Medallion, that does get me another check. But neither of them gave me items that I cared about. Okay, so I think I need to go do... I'm gonna go do uh, Goron City again. Volvagia looking like stone. Uh, so, Volvagia... So I know Volvagia is at the Fire Temple entrance. I just can't get there right now. Uh, there's three possible bosses it could be. Uh, it could be King Dodongo. Uh, Volvagia or Twinrova. Uh, unfortunately, neither or none of them uh, I can actually beat right now. Um, if it is Volvagia, then yes, Hammer is impossible. Twinrova is does not necessarily mean Hammer is impossible. Song of Storms Windmill Guy. I don't have Song of Storms yet. Although I actually just remembered I haven't done the Windmill Check as adult yet. Do you mean GTG Entrance? GTG Entrance was... Uh, Goma. But if you're talking about the GTG Dungeon, I don't know where GTG is yet. Oh, I can do the Pot also. I'm gonna have to do QPA for this. It's gonna be a bit weird. Uh... 
I hate doing the pot with bomb flower. So this will be fun. Yeah, in OT 3D, uh, QPA actually does hammer damage. So you actually can beat him uh, with QPA without Megaton Hammer in 3D. Surprised that actually worked. I don't think I got it though. Oh, never mind. First try. Easy. And yeah, it's nothing. Uh, the problem with KD is that I can't blow up the floor to get into the fight. Uh, it might be breakable with QPA, I'm not actually 100% sure. So I guess I'll have to test that. Come on. I'm actually gonna have to Hess in here twice. Because I can't get out. Yeah, it might function like the mud walls. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure QPA would not break it, but I can't say for a certain. Oh my god. Uh, Altusco, technically yes, I could do SRM or Ace, but one, it would require a different setup in Randomizer, which no one looks for because that's kind of pointless, and two, it's generally banned in Randomizer because if you use SRM or Ace, it kind of just defeats the purpose of Randomizer because you can just use those to get any items. Thanks for the reset, Faso. Uh, yeah, so Randomizer doesn't really do SRM, Ace, or Wrong Warps, or RBA. Uh, I think I go back adult now. This did not get me anywhere that I was hoping. I mean, I am at six rewards out of seven. Problem is getting the seventh reward and then also getting bow, magic, and light arrows. Yeah, I have Force Medallion, so I'll get a free check when I become adult, and then I can go do a uh, Windmill Guy check, and then... Question mark. At that point, I start have to start having to do stuff like uh, Poe Hover to Shadow, or Octorok Hover in Jabu. Oh, Frog. Yeah, I forgot I could do the Frog. Let me do that right now. I did cat cocos, yeah. No, I'm not gonna do a chess game unless I have a bottle. The really annoying thing is gonna be... Once I get explosives, I'm gonna have to remember everything that I didn't get because I don't have explosives yet. I think it's a plus.
Uh, there might be some places I can use ledge cancel. I haven't really been thinking about that, but they'd have to be enemy ledge cancels. Uh, I don't think there's anything in Hyrule Field I could... Can I do edge cancel off a of Poe fire in Hyrule Field? Maybe I can do that. That would be stupid. Alright, that was nothing. I think this is going to be faster to get to market. Does slingshot effect big pose? Uh, yes, I think. I can't actually shoot it though, at big pose. Yeah, 20 GS tokens, it gets me a spirit key, I think. So... I should grab it next time I'm in CAC, but it's not like something I really need right away. I can't do chew bowling unless I have chews. Where's the item? I don't know. I would love to know. Maybe it's the prelude check, please. Why don't I just find hammer? Well, I know where hammer is. The problem is I need to get into fire temple. Uh, fire temple entrance in order to get the Goron Ruby. And that will get me the Ocarina of Time, which has the hammer. Uh, problem is I can't get into fire temple, and even if I could, there's only three, bo three possible bosses that could be in there, and I can't beat any of them right now. Or I think I can't beat any of them. A rough seed. Rough is an understatement so far, honestly. I'm... I'm looking at the possibility that I might have to start doing... Uh, Poe Hover to Shadow, or Octorok Hover in Jabu in order to progress. QPA might open up the hole above KD, but I'm not sure. If I can get into Fire Temple, I'll try it, but... Uh... I think I'm missing Spirit Keys on my checks. Yeah, I have two. Oh my god. Seriously? Oh 
No, no, come back, come back. No. Oh my god, dude. Come back. Come back. I'm right here. Stop it, dude. I keep getting stuck. Please, come back. No, uh, I was in position. Thanks for the sub, true. Not even giving me hearts, wow. Very cool. Magic is in shadow. I don't know where shadow is yet. How? How is it not hitting the shields? Why am I getting so little health from the grass? Yeah, I know Big Ron is junk, so I don't need to worry about him. Oh no, please. Okay, at least I, I'm still up here. Please, come back. No. No! Yeah, the Poe is out of bounds. Poe can easily go out of bounds. Doesn't get affected by walls. God. 
No, come back. Come back. Why? No. Please. Come back. Attack. Don't run away, don't run away. Stay here, stay. I need to find something else to do. But I don't know what else to do. I don't think I'm out of checks, but I'm having trouble thinking of checks. No, I'm not gonna giving up. There's still plenty of things I can do, even if they're really stupid. I'm not gonna give up. Um I just don't know what to actually try. I might need to go for Octora cover in Jabu. Oh yeah, I could get the the Hammer Rock GS and DMT that I skipped earlier. No, Bunny Hood doesn't make you jump farther. The only way to get the fire temple right now is with a glitch where a pot pushes me to jump a bit extra farther. I was trying it earlier, but the setup I was looking at was not working for me. Uh, but I could try it again. But it's also... I... even if I can get in there, it's not gonna help me that much, because I can't even... or I don't think I can beat any boss that's in there anyway. 
Okay, that's nothing. Uh, let's go back down here. Thanks, Resub, Jack Lennon. Thanks, the sub, Schwab. Yeah, unless KPA works on the bomb before, which I'm not confident that it does. Uh, bomb will curing was 40 skulls, but that wouldn't even help me right now. Okay, I'm gonna try something. It looked like in the video he might have actually walked a step here. Okay, not that much of a step. This isn't gonna work. Hookshot hint was also shadow, which I don't I don't know where it is yet. I did check the wasteland QPA check. go okay I figured it out the video that I was watching did an extra step when turning around which you are not supposed to do in a setup without explicitly saying that there is you are supposed to turn around and take a small step and not just turn around flat all right who is this it's a lot of a impossible So I got a hint earlier that Hammer is on Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time requires the three spiritual stones. I know that the spiritual stone, uh, I know that the Goron Ruby is in Fire Temple entrance, which means that Vavagia must have it. And so I must beat Vavagia in order to get Hammer, which is impossible. Doesn't mean impossible seed, just means Hammer is impossible. I can beat the seed without hammer, or theoretically. Uh, have I done? I don't think I've done belt fishing. It's seven dungeon rewards, and I have six, so I really only need one more dungeon reward. The only problem is that I haven't found bow magic or light arrows either, so even if I got. I could actually. Be in a situation where I get Ganon boss key before I get any of magic bow light arrows. No, I haven't found Ganon's castle yet. I'm gonna go back to Jabu, and I'm gonna try the Octra cover again. Yeah, I checked Slon Child. <laughs> I wanna quit. 
Yeah, I did the fourth medallion check. Thanks, Reed, Heine. Think this a T bear or tear bear? Uh. Well, no. Now, now I don't know where King Django is. So there's no, the QPA to break the mud doesn't. There's no like, I can't even try. I don't know where K KD is yet. Carpet salesman, I don't have a wallet for. I've done a lot of child actually and did not find much. I found boomerang, which is actually pretty good. And I really wish I had right now because or I could use right now with equip swap. But I can't. Yeah, hookshot's in shadow. Alright, so I really need to just Hover to this switch here. There's I don't have anything right. Yeah. Unless yeah. There's no way a jump slash no. I wonder if Big Oran Sword Jump Slash could reach that actually.
Am I close to the thing? I am. Okay, here we go. Don't die. I get health. No health? Wow. Uh can't you do this? Don't think I can kill that one. Actually, I wonder if I can throw Rudo up there to kill it. Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't know that anything's in Jabu. I just need to go somewhere and I can't go anywhere else. Or not I can't go anywhere else, but this is a bad idea. Uh, Jabu is one of the few places I can actually go to right now. I probably should grab that. No, I didn't do the Poe hover, I gave up on it. I instead went for the Octorok hover. Right, I forgot I can't. I need to uh, actually jump to get down there. Yeah, but it's all, it's all rupees. Everything's rupees, the seat. <laughs> She's desperate hour. It's... it is appropriate. I am getting pretty desperate. Oh no, I just realized something really bad. Uh... So I want to do a Beery Mega Flip to get to the boss room. And the normal setup for it starts from opening the door that I had to open by hovering to the switch. And if I open that door again, it's going to lock again. I have to do the hover again. So I, I have to do this in a weird way. Or, you know what? Or I can do Beery Hover. make it easy on myself. Uh, I just have to hope I don't get soft locked. Uh, 
Wait, setup for what? Setup for Beery Hover or Beery Mega Flip? Okay, well, I think this will work anyway. Berry Hover is a pretty great trick. Do I, do I have a way to get into the boss room? I just realized. I don't know if I can actually get into the boss room. Uh... I can't clip in without shoes. Can the beery? The beery can't clip me, can it? I'm gonna see if beery clip works here. It probably doesn't. Alright, come on. Get over here. Clip me in. Oh. Come over here. Yeah. Uh This isn't good. No, I can't equip swap anything right now. I have equip swap blocked on both sides. Unless I get Din's fire. I'm going to have to hover. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Please stop. Uh, I think that web is solid, actually. I might be able to mega flip to it. I guess. Uh, you know what? Can I? All right, I'm gonna do something a bit weird. I'm gonna make a sequel to Beery Hover. Come down here. Gonna make Beery Hover too. I was gonna open the door legitimately. I mean, I can't. There's no way I can open the door legitimately. Well, I mean, if by legitimately you just mean hitting the switch, that is the goal. It's just I'm gonna have to try to hit it with Beery Hover. Okay. 
Can anything get me a heart, please? I am going to die. Oh my god. Do they not drop hearts? Alright, so I'm just gonna hope I can do this without getting hit, and Berry Hover is really inconsistent, so I don't know about that. And if I get stuck, the only way to get out is by getting hit intentionally, so that's cool. Yeah, the only way to get out of this is to get hit. Alright, I guess I'll go find something else to do. Chess game. I could try to go do chess game now. This is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous seed. I have suns, but I don't have bottle. That's the problem. I you can't play ocarina in chess game. You need bottle to do OI. Unlock Epona casually. Uh, would Epona be any good right now? I could get to Gerudo Fortress, but I was already there. I mean, I could get one Skulltula. Oh yeah, I don't have a pony song. Yeah, you can't you can't get a pony normally without a pony song. No, you can't boomerang the underwater bottle. Alright, it's all up. It's always all up. Okay, not this time. Haven't gotten past the second room yet. There's five rooms, so it's a one in thirty two. So 
Sun song. I can only sun song if I have bottle. Can't use ocarina here. Oh my god. I don't know it's behind chess game. It's just one of the only things I can still do. It's not incredibly stupid. Well. Dude, I can't even get past room one. You can't manipulate it, but you can cheese it if you have both bottle and sun song. I have bottle, or I have sun song, I don't have bottle. Incredible. Sun song lets you reload the room without um, resetting the doors. So you could open a door, play Sun Song with Bottle OI, and then like all the doors that you previously opened would still be open, and they can just retry again from where you left off. And but the chests will actually be reset, so you can also get keys from the chests from the rooms you've already unlocked. Oh. I got past room two at least. No, I can't do anything in Lake Holiday at the bottle unless I either have scale or if I could somehow use Iron Boots as child. But no, it specifically requires you to be in the either diving animation or walking animation. Not just the, like, even if you could swim around the bottle, it doesn't actually give it to you. You need to be either diving or walking. Uh, is there anything left I can do as child? Did everything I can do in Zora's Domain, Zora's Fountain. Um, I mean, I could technically do some in Fire Temple, but no, I, I can't really. Uh, Lost Woods, I did everything in Kakiri, everything I can do in Lost Woods, uh, there's only one frog I can do, which I did check, don't know where Forest Stage is, Gway Hover as adult to Lab Roof, uh, I think I technically could... Actually, that might not be that difficult. I guess I could try that. If Glee Hover works out the way I think it might, in Lake Hylia, it actually shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, we're getting pretty degenerate now. Po Hover. Well, actually, I don't know if Po Hover is even going to be a good idea because Shadow Entrance is Spirit Temple. And I think I got a map that said Spirit was vanilla, right? Let me check. Uh, oh, Spirit MQ. Okay, Spirit MQ, actually, I can do stuff in. Spirit of Vanilla, I couldn't. So, actually, yeah, Po Hover. I might want to go back to Po Hover. But first, let me try Gwei Hover. Tch, 
Okay. No. Yeah, he said psych right at the end. Probably do it here. Like, why are you gonna come over here? Hey, you. No, come back. Come back. Might be easier on this side. Come on. What are you doing? No. I need to be able to see him. Come on, please. Alright, here we go. This should- no. That was a perfectly cut scream. Seriously? Alright, so I was thinking this might be kind of easy, but, uh, not quite. I think he's coming for me. The house interrupting the Gwei's flight is actually what I think is making this harder. Because he can't do like a, a very simple path like in Colossus. Like in Colossus, he does this really simple like figure eight path. And he can't do that here. Might only need one more. Uh, two more. Easy. Now I have to actually kill him so he doesn't knock me off the ladder. Alright, you guys excited for this uh, blue rupee? Okay, purple rupee. Excuse me. Uh, what do I do now?
Uh, Hook Shot Hidden is uh, Shadow Temple, which I don't know where Shadow Temple is yet. Um, I think Poe Hover might be my, my best option right now. Uh, I wonder if I should go back to Water Temple and maybe try to do some more stuff in water. Can I even do more in water? I can deliver the saw, but I already know that Big Orion is a junk item. It's not going to get me anywhere. I haven't found good at training grounds yet. I did adult fishing. Yeah, so I guess I just have to do Poe Hover, and I hope and have to hope that Spirit gives me something. And I guess in the department of using enemies to do dumb stuff, uh, I could also theoretically use a Tektite to get into Jabu, which is uh, MQ Fire. And then I could get two more checks in MQ Fire. But... Uh, I would very much prefer not to have to do that. Yeah, I, I might you know what? Yeah, let me try let me try Po Fire Ledge Cancel for the grottos, actually. I really don't know how I'm gonna set this up though. Oh my god. You know I I'm gonna do it later. <laughs> Stay here, attack me. Really? Why can I not back to Hello? <sighs> this is gonna be very annoying. Please. Please. Oh my god. When the poet just completely runs away, it makes me so mad.
Seriously? I thought I was gonna die in one more hit. Oh no. Don't. I'm right here. Please attack me. Hello? Why can I not? I need to reset. I hate this so much. Maybe I should just start from the fence. Why is the post so far away? Just spawned a bunch. I don't think that's going to be better because I'd have to drag a bunch of them over here. And they would be, they'd all like want to run away because they're so far away from their spawn point. This one's at least relatively close. Hello? Start the hover, kill the Poe. Or the Poe runs into me and kills itself. Thanks, Resub, Kaden. I actually need to remember, I need to start ISG with uh, no sword slash so that it gets the weakest hit. Oh, yeah, I guess I should just reset in Dampe's hut. Uh, that's a good question if QPA kills it, actually. I should touch. I should try. QPA might not kill it. Huh? 
Okay. Yeah, I should do that then. Uh, I don't think that's a good way to start. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for. But that was cool, I guess. Why is it that when I'm targeting the Poe, I can't backflip up there? QPA goes away when you either swing your sword or leave the area. This is not really a good direction to hover in. I don't really have a choice right now. Is it called? There's no way. Please. The Poe is called. <laughs> Please come back here. I am trying to side hop. Please attack me. Why are you like this? I'm just gonna hover like this and see what happens. Please? I'm right here. It's called again. I know I know you can do this, but I don't know what to do at this point. Maybe... Maybe do this. Come on. Are you sure? I'm 
I'm trying to put away my sword, dude. Here, you know what? I don't know what else to do. I am definitely not winning. No, no new seed. Uh, no, I can't go back to Jabu. Um, Gamba chest, not, not for a lug yet. No, I got to fire temple. Uh, it was, uh, Bobagia, so I can't do anything there. Hyrulefield Grotto, yeah, I guess. Let me try Hyrulefield Grottos with ledge cancel. This is going to be so stupid. No, I can't ledge cancel from the stealth children because they don't spawn as adult. I've only checked... I've checked the one frog that I can check. Saw so can't really do anything besides be a timer stopper. Okay, this is going to be really awkward. Actually, this might not be that bad. That actually was pretty close, I think. Oh, okay, got it. Maybe I should have done it closer to a different grotto. My back walk, it'll be way too hard with this angle. Oh god, I gotta be careful about the fence and make sure. Why am I going so far away? Why am I checking the farthest grotto first? Whatever. I gotta make sure I don't accidentally jump over the fence because it'll cancel it. I don't even know where the grotto is. This might... Can this call the grotto? I have no idea where I am. Or where the grotto is. Oh god, the Poe. If I get hit, I'm gonna lose ledge cancel. I'm worried that the grotto can call. And if it can... Then this camera is probably too far out for it. Uh, can't see anything. Lens flare. It's near this tree, right? I'm pretty sure the grotto is near this tree. I think it is called...
trying to do anything to get the camera in a better position. No. Okay, well, I almost got it. Okay, well, I did see that the rock is definitely here. But I think it is cold. Uh, let's try a different grotto. Uh, what's going on is I'm currently using the ledge cancel glitch, which can allow me to walk through a uh, rounded collision. One of the side effects of it is that the camera gets really messed up. And now I am trying to... I can't believe I didn't lose it there. Now I am trying to get to a grotto. and uh, enter the grotto without a bomb. Okay, I think I need to cancel the glitch and reset it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna cancel it. Okay, I need... I need to set it up closer. To do it here. Uh, no, I can't do it here. Or wait, can I do it on this ledge? No, I can't do it on that ledge either. Okay, I think I have to do it near CAC. That might actually be the only place. Or actually, no, I think I can do it near the wall. Oh yeah, you can use Ocarina to fix the ledge cancel camera, can't you? Yeah, I should probably try that. Okay, I'm kind of worried that this Poe might run into the wall. Please don't run into the wall and despawn. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have to be on this side. Okay. Okay, here's one. Stamp, hey, that's that's good. Actual drone cam, yeah. Stampe gives two checks. So maybe I'll give me something. Hey, 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 hey,
Stone of Agony. It can't be Stone of Agony. I actually know where Stone of Agony is. It's in a shop. For way too much money, so I'm not buying it. Bow. Okay, that's big. Enforce Master Quest. Okay. I have a bow. I have a weapon. Oh, I already, I already have it equipped. Okay, only thing is, I'm not sure how much that really does for me. Uh, that That is very good. It's very good that I actually have a weapon now, but... Oh, that's really good for Jabu. Oh yeah, I can definitely do Jabu now. Jabu is going to be easy. Okay, but let me let me try. Actually, you know what? Let me just go straight to Jabu. Because then maybe there's a chance that I can avoid having to do the ledge cancel again. Oh yeah, and I can do Cac Archery now. Is Master Sword not a weapon? I meant a uh, ranged weapon. So who's who's here or what? It could be a dungeon. It's actually probably more likely to be a dungeon. Alright, no, it's KD. Alright, so I guess here I can test if uh, QPA breaks this or not. Shadow key ring, that's really good. It does. Nice. Yeah, so this is actually going to get me Ganon boss key. So, uh... I'm going to get Ganon boss key before I get bombs, hookshot, magic, light arrows, finding Ganon's castle. Oh yeah, and I get either Lax or Nocturne, that's true also. Yeah, I do have the magic hint. I know it's in shadow. So, finding where shadow is is going to be a big deal. No, Ganon's castle wasn't in Jabu. Jabu was in Ganon's castle. Alright, Ganon boss key. Let me go check Lex. Might be the first time I've ever intentionally checked Lightero cutscene. Rupees.
No, I, I don't know any dungeon chain for sure yet. Please die. That is an arrow. Yeah, it's arrows. I'm actually low on nuts, so I guess I'll actually get that. Bo is in Dampe's grave. In order to get to Dampe's grave, I had to do ledge cancel across Hyrule Field using a Poe flame to enter a, enter a grotto without uh, bombs. Oh yeah, that was that was worth it. Uh, I should actually minuet. Will both save the seed? Probably. I mean, it's already opened up a lot for me. Thanks for the resub, JJ Jones. Thanks for the sub. Hi, MZ. Like, the fact that Bo led to both Ganon Boss Key and also Shadow Key Ring is a really big deal. That reminds me, was Shadow... Yeah, Shadow was normal. Okay, I'm... I need to mark my MQ dungeons. Forest Fire, Spirit, all MQ, and Ganon's Castle. I want my keys and I make sure I have the right number of keys everywhere. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it could still be impossible, but the seed is uh, already looking much better than it was. Yeah, Shadow Key Ring was the KD boss room check. Is there any way I can get ledge cancel in Lost Woods? I don't think I can get it off the skull, kids, can I? I don't think there's any ledge in Lost Woods to climb up. I checked this grotto, right? Yeah. No, you can't do the archery. You can't do horseback archery without a Pona. Uh, I was gonna go to CAC. Yeah, I did go on pot. Thanks for reset Hagmania. No, no hints for bombs.
Uh, Roro, do you mean Psychic Forest Meadow? I checked the hints there. Skulltula over there. I don't know if I can reach it from here. You know what? I think I can do this. I need to get up there, dude. That is so important. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there without explosives or hookshot. Oh my god. Uh, how do I get up there? I need. I think I need explosives. I think hover boots can get up there. Hover boots also. Okay, I need hover boots, explosives, or hookshot, and I can get dins. And that'll save me. Yeah, I don't have magic, but I can. That'll let me use a quip swap. And that's super important for me right now. No, I can't use the owl warp as adult. And the skull is not there as child. Yes, yeah, could be a nice trap. But there's no reason to believe. There's no reason to assume it's a nice trap. But it could be, uh... Oh my god, please. Yeah, I checked House of Twin Skull. Unless canceling to get into grottos that I couldn't get into otherwise because I don't have explosives. Yeah, Ledge Cancel works as child also. Maybe these Ledge Cancels would be easier as child because I could probably use Tell Children. Oh well. Fairy Fountain. Alright, there's one more grotto I can do this for. Check. 
I can kill a big po, but I can't get anything from it. Or I can't catch in a bottle. Two grottos? Wait. The grotto near the trees and what else? Are you thinking of the grotto near GV? Because I still need bombs to open that grotto. Adele Skeleton's doors, I mean, I already checked that it was a, uh, compass. I mean, I could check what compass it is now, but it's not really that big of a deal. Those channels should work. No, the, the, the grotto near GV doesn't, isn't actually open until you, uh, blow it up. Oh, I forgot. Don't do it in that direction. Yeah, job is the only dungeon I've actually done. Um, dude, come on. How is my big Poe look so good, but in this case it's actually bad? I do have the grotto near the castle. Oh my god. Stop it. When I need small Poe's, I don't get them. Three sub Linkus. Uh, yeah, we can do it later today. Yeah, that's fine, Linkus. Uh, very cool. Um, I don't know what to do. Maybe I should go to Ice Cavern now. I can't do a whole lot in Ice Cavern, but I think I can make stuff work by doing word clips. Baronade has light arrows? Well, actually, Baronade was the first boss I killed, and Baronade did not have light arrows. No, QPA doesn't work on the Grotto Boulders, because QPA doesn't have um, bomb damage. It only has, like... What seems like it might be bomb damage is ice arrow damage because ice arrows break the those mud walls. Or blue fire, I mean, like because of the blue fire setting on rando. Yeah, Link is, this is one of the worst seeds I've ever done. That was partially my fault because I tried the scarce item pool setting. Thought it might make it a little bit harder. And uh, it was more than a little bit. Yeah, 
You have seven medallions, fight Ganon. Uh, well, one, I don't know where Ganon's castle is. Two, I don't have magic. Three, I don't have light arrows. So, it's a bit more complicated than that. Yeah, I like the regional boss keys. I think it's working out well. Okay, so this is going to be awkward. So I actually need to go here first. Uh, I need to kill this guy. And I want to leave the white wolfos alone. Too late, yeah. Also, in case anyone's thinking about QPA and blue fire damage and stuff, it actually does not work on red ice because reasons. be a good idea. I'm scared of killing the white wolfos, because I need to kill it to enter a room, but if I do kill it, then I'm worried. You know what? Here, I can do this. There's actually a clip I can do. I'm worried that if I kill the white wolfos, I might need it to uh, do that clip. Do a weird clip to the red ice. If I can do this to avoid killing it. Oh wait, this isn't any good either because I can't get the chest. I need a bottle for that. Shoot this from here? No. <clears throat> Deku shields. Oh, 
part. Uh, I might theoretically be able to hover over this with an ice case. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh... <clears throat> QPA hover? I don't think... No, I don't think QPA hover is going to do anything. I, I might as well just do a regular hover here. Alright, he's coming around. Can't see. Come on. Dude. Could go back to Water Temple. Is there anything I can actually do in Water Temple? How do you get that skull normally? There's a switch you hit to get rid of the the white blocks. Uh, okay, let me think about Water Temple real quick. Um, No, QP doesn't work on red ice. Uh, okay, there's two things I can get in Water Temple that I have to do something dumb for. Well, I mean, it's my best bet right now, so I might as well. Uh... Yeah, choose existence scarce items, but there's three of them instead of the normal, like, between five and ten. Oh, I can do this now. I can check the skull, although I won't be able to hover to it. Enter Jabu with Tektite. Dude, I really don't want to enter Jabu with Tektite. And even if I can, it'll only get me two checks. If I had Magic and Furrow's Wind, I would, because then I could Void Warp. Stealing Epona with a Coat Clip. Uh, Stealing Epona... I don't know the Coco Clip. But stealing a Pona would. I'd be able to go to Gerudo Fortress as adult. But I already went there as child, so I already got the 
guard checks. I'd really only be able, be able to check the Skulltulas, one of which I wouldn't even be able to actually get. So I don't know if that's really going to do anything. Nice. Oh, I guess I can check up to dark. No, I can't. I don't have a quick shot. Yeah, I don't have Gerudo cards, so I can't do archery. Wait, was these kind of foolish? No, I think it was Colossus. Wait, what? I don't remember getting a hint for Thieves Hideout Foolish. Are you sure it wasn't Colossus? I got a hint for Colossus being foolish. Did I? And I just... Forgot it? Okay. Alright, I guess I'm just dumb. Oh, was it in that grotto that I ledge cancelled to? And I just, like, didn't pay attention to the hint? That makes sense. Okay. All right. So at least I don't have to, I don't have to worry about these side out. That's good. You know what I can do actually? I can't get this, but I can at least check uh, what the skull is. Okay. I need the key back, though. Water entrance was Phantom Ganon. Oh yeah, this is Ice Cavern Entrance. Uh, magic, Light Arrows, and Finding Ganon's Castle is go mode. But, uh... All three of those are kind of... A decent... Decently far away away. Unless... Shadow is like... Surprisingly easy to get to. And magic is early on in shadow and I don't have to worry about much. Actually no, even shadow. So I know that one of my hook shots is in shadow. As well as magic. And here we go. And um I need either hook shot or explosives to get past the very first gap in shadow. So I need to find a different hookshot or explosives to even do any of Shadow. I mean, probably explosives, but at this rate, who knows where explosives are. A key. Uh, I might be able to grab that. Although I don't even know if that key is worth grabbing. Or hover boots, yeah. Uh, okay, wait. How would I? 
get this. I don't think I can get this actually without explosives. Yeah, okay, just reset. A key isn't really gonna do much for me right now anyway. No, you can't hover off the boulder. Uh, can I do anything else in water? I don't think so. No, not with that lullaby. Or hookshot. Or iron boots. <clears throat> yeah, I think this this is close to qualifying the worst seed ever. At least for non entrance randomizer. I mean even entrance randomizer. The entrance randomizers I've had have really not been all that bad. They've just been long because that's just the nature of entrance randomizer. This is this is definitely in contention for worst seed I've ever had, yeah. Okay, it's the most useless compass. Very cool. Yeah, knock out any impossible seeds. I do want to try scare settings again because I like to at least try... I want to at least try multiple seeds with the same settings so that I get a good sample size. Because I don't want to just do one and just kind of assume... Oh, that's how it is, I guess. Uh, yeah, I want a decent sample size, so yeah, I'll do more. I, I still think that... I don't think the scare settings are the entire reason this is going this badly. Uh, I mean, certainly isn't helping. Can I actually do this with a backflip? I don't know. No, okay. Uh, no, I can, I know, I can kill it. I know it's water boss key. Um, the issue is getting to it. The only way I could get it was theoretically a hover, but even that's too far away. But yeah, I know it's Water Boss Key. Um, it just keeps, everything keeps going back to doing Po Hover. I really think Po Hover is my only option. Yeah, Poho in Graveyard. Jabu, I went back to Jabu, but um, I did what I could there. There's nothing to do more now. Well, except QPA, however, but I need explosives for that. Use Boomerang? I can't uh, equip Swap Boomerang, and it doesn't appear there as Child. Soggy Grotto? What is Soggy Grotto? You can't hover off Kukas. There's nothing in Kakariko to hover off of. The tech type by the tree? Do you mean the actual grotto in Hyrule Field or the actual diving grotto with the tech type? The diving grotto is actually over there. It's one of the graves back there, but... Uh, and it has a slingshot in it. Which isn't really going to help at this point. Oh yeah, I was going to get QPA. I mean, I don't need QPA, but I probably should, yeah. Uh, 
No, there's no way into the grotto in Herald Field. It, it's a, it's not a grotto with a boulder blocking it. It's a grotto that actually needs to be opened with a bomb. So I can't ledge cancel into it. No, you can't QPA bomb grottos. QPA doesn't have bomb damage. Please come back here, please. Stop. I don't think this is a good idea. Seems any better. I'm out of good options. All of my options right now are very bad options. And so I'm choosing the bad option that at least has the most payoff overall. Because I know Shadow leads to Spirit MQ, and uh, there's at least a few checks I can get in the beginning. Come back. Come back.
Oh no, that's not the direction I wanted. Dude. Gonna call. Please. Please come back. Attack, please. Do you guys want me to check spoiler the lug? Because I have no idea if this is even going to be worth it. I could just find three. No, yes, no. I'm going to try Po Hover until one more death. Also, did Graveyard just get more bright? It did, and I guess it removed some fog effect or something. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to give it to a mod to determine if it's impossible or not, because there's a lot of... It's not gonna be obvious if it's impossible or not based on a lot of weird factors. Please. Come on. <sighs> what? That's not the direction I turned. Please come back.
I'm back. Come back. Come back. How many backflips is variable depending on where I am and how much height I get from each other. The ideal one is if I do it from on top of the shed. At least with bombs you can do it in three hovers from on top of the shed. Which is why I was going for that. If I'm going for it down here it's going to be way more but seems like it might be easier to get individual hovers down here even if starting it like starting it is easier but Starting it from there is harder, but yeah. But I don't know. I don't think back of the grave is any easier. I was trying it earlier and it didn't seem to work out. So she I'm over this. Alright, I'm gonna check the spoiler log and see what uh I could realistically do. Well, okay. Let me check first let me just check if anything is actually in spirit. And if not, I'll check the rest of the log. 
Check Goron I don't I already know Goron Ruby is Volvagia, so that's impossible. Hammer's impossible. Spirit Temple MQ Entrance Front Left Side Chest Gold Skull Slow Token Spirit MQ Entrance Back Right Side Chest Gold Skull Slow Token Spirit Temple MQ Entrance Front Right Side Chest Gold Skull Slow Token Spirit Temple MQ Entrance Back Left Chest Gold Skull Slow Token <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Poe Hover was not the play. Okay, I am just gonna control F bomb bag. I'll check bomb bag and choose and hook shot and see where all these things were. If any is like an actual place I could, if I see one thing that is in an actual place that I can get, then I will stop checking the spoiler log and I'll just play from there. Okay, let me check chess game real quick, yeah. Small key spirit temple. So no chess. Well, chess game. I mean, that's moderately worth it. As in, I would like a spirit key, but that's not going to get me anywhere. Okay, bomb bag. Hello. Can't search. Gerudo training ground maze. Uh, path, final chest, bomb bag. Uh, I cannot get to GTG yet. DMC, Deku Scrub Grotto, center right, or center. Okay, so I need to see where DMC, Deku Scrub Grotto is. Gruta Valley, Grotto Ledge, uh... So the Silver Rock Grotto in Gerudo Valley had a bomb bag. Uh, that would not have been possible without Silver Gauntlets, I think, because I have no explosives to get ledge cancel or a mega flip. Yeah, I'll check bottles in a sec. Okay, next I'm going to check. Actually, yeah, let me check bottle first. Uh, one of the cows had the Hyrule Field Cow Grotto cow had bottle. Uh, Zoro's River Deku Scrub Grotto. Let me check what that was. I made a big mistake. <laughs> I did forget something that I could easily check. I mean, I guess not. A, it may or may not be a big mistake. I'm not sure how big this is, but at least from this point, I'm going to assume that I can still continue the seed. <laughs> this is an extremely dumb mistake, and I feel very stupid for not doing this. Yeah, unfreeze King Zora. I don't know how I didn't unfreeze King Zora. That should have been literally check one, or I guess like check three. Why did I not do this? How many times did I pass by King Zora? I mean, still, this is only going to get me a bottle. Which isn't necessarily... Uh... I don't actually know if this is going to get me anything guaranteed. Oh, whoops. Bottle does open up Ice Cavern. Oh, 
Oh my god, I got a bottle. Wow. All right, so from here, I'm going to I'm going to keep playing the seat like normal. I stopped checking the spoiler log as soon as I saw something I can do. So I don't know everything about the spoiler log yet. So for now, I'll just continue playing like normal. Yeah, so I can get I might as well just menu or I guess I can clip through here. Okay, so I'll check, uh, Ice Cavern. Ice Cavern, Big Po. Uh, go to Child and check all the Soil Skulls. And then, if I am still in a I-don't-know-what-to-do situation, then, uh, I'll check Spoiler Log again. Chess game I did check, uh before and it was a spirit key which spirit key is nice but it's not really getting me anywhere wait I need no oh, that's fine I can just do this Thanks, resub. Four keckles. Thanks, the sub. Sorry, sorry, guess up. Please. Am I going to be able to kill the Skulltula? There's a key there, I should probably get the... Wait, I don't know if I can get that key actually. Oh, you know what, I can do this. I can get ISG. Recovery heart. Uh, the normal way to do that is there's a song of time block, and you uh, play song of time and stand on the block. Can I actually get this? I might need the bomb to get this. Whatever, it's just a key. I'll come back for it later, but it's not like it's gonna get anywhere. I'm not gonna get anywhere with it right now. Wait, 
Well, if there is a later, yeah. Yes, the seed is awful. Very, very bad. I was hoping you'd fall in the pit. Please. Leave me alone. There. Remember to never use these settings again? Uh, no, I will actually use these same settings again because I want to see if this is the norm. I want to see if this is how it always is or if I just got really unlucky. Because I think, I do like the idea. I do think I want it to be a little bit harder to find items like chews especially, because chews are kind of broken in my normal settings. Because there's so many chew packs. And I do want it to kind of be nerfed. It's got me nothing. Uh, just do this. Uh, the problem is I don't know if I can remove specific items from the pool unless I do a plando. Which I'd rather not. No, choose out of logic is, that, is even worse because that doesn't affect the number of choose in the item pool. It just affects whether or not you can get chew drops from grass. And having the same number of possible chews but not being able to get chews from grass is even worse because then I'm just like, oh, I have chews, but I have to save scum every single chew I use, and that's just terrible. No, selling, um, selling bugs and fish and stuff for the beggar is not a check. I think the subs is up pretty bop. You're not a big po. Oh wait, did I get a hint about Big Po? No, I didn't. Now that I need Big Po, they're not spawning again. Of course. There's three chews in the in the item pool with these settings. No, I haven't found Sun's Grave. Yeah, you can get these without Epona, they just have a low spawn rate. It's like 30 or 40 percent. Except it's zero percent when you actually need one. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm shiny hunting. I'm trying to find a shiny, shiny Poe. Oh, uh, Goku over 9,000. Thanks for gifting five subs. Thanks for the resub nuzzles. All right, so I'm gonna do child soil skulls. And then see if I get anything from those. Yeah, boss, he can be behind the boss reward. Because it's no logic. I know, there's still actually still two ocarinas. It's a uh, bomb bag, slingshot, bow, bomb choose, and magic have reduced counts. Magic is only one, bomb choose is three, bomb bag, bow, slingshot are two. Oh wait, I need bugs first. The shops had uh, a Zora scale and a GTG key. Those are the best things from shops the seed. Yes, and Stone of Agony, of course. Thanks, Resub Aider. Yeah, stone was 495 rupees. The second, literally the second highest price it can possibly be. Gurugaruda Valley. Hmm. 
No, you can't ledge cancel with a Coco. Coco doesn't... You need shieldable damage and you can't shield Coco damage. No, 30 skulls is just, or no, I think 30 was junk, right? It's 20 and 40 that had something that had a key. Yeah, 20 was a spirit key and 40 was bomb key keyring, which neither of them are really going to help me right now. Still no mirror shield? I am a long way from even caring about mirror shield. I need... Some bombs first. Ah! Oh, actually, should I do Coco Jump again and go to Spirit and do... I don't want to do Spirit Soil Skull. Oh wait, no, Colossus is junk anyway. I know Colossus is junk, never mind. I don't even have to copium explain it to myself. Yeah, and beating bosses doesn't matter anymore. It means that every item I find in Colossus is junk, but not necessarily that the dungeon uh, that Colossus, that the spirit entrance leads to is junk. And also the spirit hands are counted as spirit temple, not as Colossus. A boss can't lead to a dungeon, unless you mean boss door. If a boss door leads to a dungeon, then you get a dungeon chain. What will I name this one for YouTube? I mean, Dry makes the names, not me, but giving, given Dry's naming sense, it's gonna be, this is the worst seed I've ever had, or something like that. Predict Dry's title. I cheated and still lost. Well, I mean, even the King's Aura thing, unless I get something good from this skull here, it seems like the bottle didn't actually help at all and did not uh, progress me any further. Because I think this is the last soil skull I can check. There's still technically the DMC one, but I can't get there without explosives or Bolero. Yeah, I checked Ice Cavern. I think the raid, it's Gur. Yeah, I have strength. <sighs> Alright then, I guess... Bottle didn't actually mean anything. Unless... Is there anything else Bottle can do for me? Uh... Chess game. I mean chess game, but I did see it in the spoiler log. It was just a key.
I did the one frog that I can do. I think I have to check log again. I can go in a house. Uh, yeah, I'll do that dry, sure. I'll do that while I check spoiler log. Uh, was it playing in... House of Skulls Hollow? Normal house is okay. I'll go over here. I checked all of Lon Lon. All right, I will check log again. This time I'm gonna check where shoes are. All right, bomb shoes. Wow, this one's evil. Jabba Jabba's Belly GS Lobby Basement Upper. So, the one skull in Jabu that I couldn't actually kill had chews. I... might... I guess I can theoretically Beery Hover there. You want me to Beery Hover to it? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't even be asking that. Of course, the answer would be yes. I did the Ocarina game in Lost Woods. Oh, what, what was the prediction is... I don't even remember what Gamba is on. Yeah, I checked Melon. I checked Richard. Oh, all of that. I mean, I guess just leave it. Or I guess restart it and just do... I don't know. Do whatever you, th you think is best. I don't know how to handle Gamba. Okay, how do I even want to handle this? Um... I guess just go down here.
Oh, you know what? I should probably kill the skull before I do this. Please. Come over here. Yeah, I can't equip a boomerang unless I have Din's fire, and I know where Din's fire is, and I need either choose hookshot or hover boots to get to it. So after I get these choose, I can go get Din's, and then I can start equip swapping hookshot. right no you idiot That beer could be a problem, actually. Uh, I knew it. I knew it was gonna. Actually, this might be okay. Okay. Am I high enough? All right. I have gotten bomb cheese after five hours. Um, 
Okay, so first thing I'm gonna go get Dins. This actually might be over kind of quickly soon after this. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. It depends. So with this I'm gonna go get Dins. With that I can equip swap Boomerang. With that I can go get uh, Water Boss Key. And I can go into fire. And I don't think I have fire boss key, do I? No. Drop entrance is fire temple. Uh, master quest. Oh, I guess I should check the bomb grottos. Blue Fire Arrows of Gruta Valley. I have dungeon rewards because I have bosses at dungeon entrances, and the sage just happen to have a lot of bosses at dungeon entrances. Thanks for the reset kick ass goal. Really? <laughs> uh, Linkus, not even that. I only need to find Ganon's castle and have light arrows and magic. And I know where magic is and I can get the light arrow hint, but I need to actually find Ganon's castle. Wait, where am I going? Uh... Dins, right. Yeah, so somehow this seed getting... getting Ganon's castle was the easy part. Or not getting Ganon boss key was the easy part. Shoes and Dins. Thanks for the sub, witty name. Alright, so now I'm gonna go to Zora's River, go get Water Boss Key, and then probably go to. Just actually go be Water Temple. Bomb the Well is. Morpha, which I already beat. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, Lighteros could be behind a hammer check and just make all of this pointless. Uh, no, I don't think you need a Gamba if the seed's impossible. I think at this point it's most likely possible. I should have got the chew drop. Okay, it doesn't matter. I can get the chew drop in here. Don't forget the skull, like I always do. Skull dupe. Cheating. Just save warp. Okay, so I think how long the seed is going to be is really going to depend on how long it takes to find Shadow Temple, because Shadow is where my magic is. Uh, well, I mean, I guess Scan's Castle too, I need to find both of them. But if, yeah, hopefully hopefully Shadow and Ganon's Castle, they could also lead to each other. Well, actually no, because I can't beat Shadow unless... Uh, I don't have Lullaby or Furrow's Wind anyway, so... Uh, I don't know. Alright, this might still be imp Well, not impossible, but... We'll see. I mean, I have Spirit Bosky too, although Spirit is gonna be much harder to... go through quickly. Why am I not back walking? Shadow, okay, that's good. So I know magic must be in here. Hopefully it's not past the boat. Thank you. I have a hook shot now. Yeah, uh, my hookshot hint was for hookshot being in shadow. So that that is my hinted hookshot. Yeah, this is easily one of the worst seeds I've gotten.
Do I hit Pose a little more than I did yesterday? I can't take it out on Pose. The, the seed isn't bad because of the Pose. It's bad because of the seed. I, I can't take it out on them. They didn't do anything wrong. Now, if Spirit, if Poe Hover to Shadow Entrance, which was Spirit Temple, was actually required, then yeah. But it turned out to not be required. Sick Mega Flip. Yeah, there's still two hook shots because Long Shot is different than Hook Shot. It's specifically capacity upgrades. How do I have 30 nuts? Because there is two capacity upgrades for Deku nuts, but also that's one where the capacity upgrade is lowered. There was two and now there's only one in this seed, but I got that one. What am I doing? Don't get those. Uh, I don't have hover boots. Uh, now the other way to get this without... I never went. The way to get this without uh, hover boots was a ground jump, so I have to go up here. I think I can do all of Shadow in Reverse. Yeah. This should be a good idea. Dude. Don't know where Lighteros is because I don't know where Ganon's castle is, so I can't even go check the hint yet. There's magic. Alright, so now all I need is Ganon's castle and Lighteros. Uh, does that mean I should stop checking Shadow? No, I shouldn't because I still need. Items would still help a lot. Hover boots, stuff like hover boots, and uh, other items can help me out a lot. Bo was a uh, Dampe race. Hookshot was here in Shadow. I just got it like two minutes ago. This seed is very purple. Die. 
Give me a two drop, please. I even said please. song Uh, backflipping onto the spike falling thing is considered a glitch for glitchless runs. So yeah. Although they actually have an alternative, technically glitchless option that does the exact same thing, but it's just harder. But you don't technically clip through it, so it's not a glitch. Long time. His favorite 3D Zelda is... Uh, Skyward Sword. But I don't hate it, but it's my least favorite. Uh, oh, I never got to Forest Temple yet. I can actually go to Forest Temple now. And it's Forest Temple. Check Shadow Bossy, I can't. I don't have Lullaby or Furrow's Wind. I'm not going to bother checking the rest of Forest right now. Okay, I think... Uh... Actually, no, I should go to Goron City. The glitch's alternative to backflipping on into the spike trap is you backflip onto the spike trap by starting by getting on a small chest and using the hover boots to go from the small chest and backflip on top of it instead of clipping through it. Forgot, I need to actually check bomb, bomb grotto stuff. There's the other bow. Hey, 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 hey. 
Uh, the only thing behind wallet with any significance is uh, silver scale. Uh, Goron City. I think scarce items is good. I mean, I don't think it's as bad as this seed makes it out to be. Uh, I do want to do multiple seeds with this and see what it's like. I do think this is probably just a really unlucky seed. I don't think this is going to be normal. I should just play Song of Time. Just make this easier. Oh yeah, I can use Bunny Hood. No, I didn't forget about Stone. Or, well, I did. As in, I have no reason to keep it in my memory. As it is, uh, it is uh, irrelevant. If I get wallet right now, I buy Medioran's item. Come on, fall, dude. Please. Oh, dang dry. I'm gonna make sure to watch that right after this, I guess. Indigo is a ROM hack in development that looks very promising. Hold is the default, but you can change it in the pause menu in game. Oh yeah, I did. I did see the changing stuff in the menu in game, which is really cool. I mean, I get. I understand if it's the default, even though I disagree. Even if most people play with it like that for some reason. Oh yeah, I get a uh, scarecrow song. Mm. 
Nut and milk from the same grotto. It's like it's like uh missing link, the nut milk. Uh, silver scale, <laughs> it would give me, um, one check. I can get the, uh, Rudo's letter item in Lake Hylia, which I know is a big po bottle. Which isn't good now, but it would have been good a while ago. Yeah, I shot the sun. It was nothing. I mean, there's not really an objective better one between switch and hold. I just prefer switch because I'm used to it. Unless you're doing a task, in which case switch is actually objectively better. Because if you're doing a task, you can uh, do frame perfect uh, Z slides while targeting an enemy. So for a task, uh, objectively switch is better. But for general gameplay, I mean, it's just preference. Yeah, and, and switch is the default, that's also true. If I do this right, this should also kill the Skultulas. There we go. Little zero zero zero. Yeah, I'm gonna clip into Silver Rock Road in a sec. Oh, there's Long Shot. Very nice. That's annoying that that hookshot was there in a like seemingly not too bad place, but actually was definitely not in a place I could actually get. That was almost really bad. So I was considering coming here as a doll, but I just had no way to actually do anything. So back when I was checking the spoiler log, when I still thought I couldn't do anything, I did learn that this scrub here has a bomb bag. And there it is. And ice arrows. Loaded grotto. actually doing going over here um did i want to just check i guess i might as well just check fortress while i'm here Oh, 
Oh yeah, fortress. Or wait, was it fortress that was barren or thieves' hideout that's barren? They're different things. You guess that was thieves' hideout, right? I okay, yeah. The only thieves' hideout check I haven't gotten yet is um, the Gerudo card check. So that just means I don't have to do Gerudo card. Oh, that's right. I was thinking of going to Spirit Temple. That's it. Yeah, I think Spirit is the way to go. Um... Actually, wait. I, I have Spirit Keys, right? Oh, I have Longshot, which is actually really good for Spirit now. Uh... Yeah, I have four. Oh, four Spirit Keys. That's super good. Um... I don't need a spirit hover, actually. I can just go to shadow now. Shadow's gonna be easy to get to. Oh my god, I have items on my item screen that I can equip and use. Long shot. Okay, so I'm going to go to Shadow. Yeah, I'm going to go to Shadow Entrance, which is uh, Spirit Temple, and I'm going to check the boss there. Hopefully the boss door is Ganon's Castle. If the boss door is Ganon's Castle, then I'm close to go mode, and then it'll really just depend on where Light Rose is. I should really check the other grottos, actually. Let me just check this one real quick. Yeah, imagine having bombs. Supposed to jump up. Uh, Amanos, if you Google Darunia's Joy, you'll find the music pack. Uh, there is a YouTube channel with some of the tracks. Uh, 
but not all of them. But yeah, the name of it, name of the pack is Dorinius Joy. No po hover needed this time. Well, not even this time. I never got the po hover. This way. So I I know from when I was checking the spoiler log that all the chests in this room are all sculptural tokens, so uh, I will not be checking those. Yeah, hopefully fitting music. I uh, don't want to check this. Yeah. I'm gonna have to save warp out if uh, this isn't good. Sorry, a song. Very cool. I gotta save warp out. Uh, yeah, the wonky ceiling here with Chews, what's actually going on is there's... So you know the above room uh, where there's the shortcut with the silver blocks that leads to the main room? Uh, that room is right above- one of the pits of that room is right above that sand room. And when the Chew is like running around in a circle on the ceiling, it's actually on the bottom of the pit of the room above. I don't have hover boots, what am I doing? So yeah, that's why it was so wacky. You can use bombs or chews for hovering, but you have to use them differently. Yeah, this shot's annoying. I swear the visual cue changes every time. No, I haven't gotten Lido hint yet because I don't know where Ganon's castle is. 
But I'm hoping... Actually, why, why am I doing this? I can just do this. I'm hoping that uh, Spirit will lead to Ganon's castle. Because I have the Spirit Boss key. Should I save scum this? No. Uh, because I still don't know where Ganon's castle is, and I probably should just do, uh, check the spirit boss to see if it's Ganon's castle, but, uh, items can still help me find stuff easier, like, if I still don't know where Ganon's castle is, it's still worth checking some stuff. But I should just uh, go here now, yeah. Oh wait, I should at least check this real quick. Useless key. Deku tree. It's vanilla. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to the end first. Actually, all right. I'm not gonna bother checking the basement yet, but I'm gonna check over here. I'm gonna check here, the top room, clip to the bottom. See if it's Ganon's castle. Uh, this track should be in Darunia's Joy. It's either uh, Maladus' theme or Spear Track's final boss or something. I forgot the other chest because I'm stupid. Yeah, hold on. Uh, let me get this first. Lullaby. Alright, so that also means I can check... Uh, end of shadow. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm not gonna bother checking the other chest in the room I forgot yet. I will if I come back through this room. Or, back, come back through Deku. Like, when I check the boss room of Deku, if it's something I don't need, I'm gonna leave. And I'll be in the basement and then I'll check stuff there. Very cool. Oh god, I'm even... Oh god, oh god, uh... 
What room am I in? I'm in the basement room. There's no good way to clip out of here. Okay, and now I'll get the other chest. That's whatever. Good thing I had bombs, or else I'd have to save warp out of there. Actually, no, I, I can equip swaps, so I could use slingshot. Uh, for go mode, I need to find Ganon's castle and get light arrows, yeah. But I don't know where Ganon's castle is yet. Still looking. But it's not here, it's Twinrova. Does anyone remember what the uh, water boss door led to? I forgot to write it down. Shadow, yeah, that's it. In the shadow. God, I messed this up. I forgot an important step.
Oh, I never marked lullaby. Whoops. Uh, just gonna save warp. Yeah, I can do frogs if I need to. Longest seed I've had so far. In terms of non-full entrance randomizers, I think this is the longest one I've had, actually. At least, like, as of... Since I started doing randomizers frequently. Yeah, there's no double magic with scarce items. Yeah, if I leave Shadow, then I spawn... You would spawn outside the boss door of the dungeon you entered before. Uh, Water Temple in particular has a bit of a glitchy one, though, where its boss door entrance is the actual Water Temple entrance. So if I leave Shadow, I'd be at the start of Water Temple. But the same does not apply for the other dungeons. The other dungeons actually have like proper uh, boss door loading zones. Well, kind of. Technically Jabu and Shadow also have glitched ones, but they're fixed for Rando, but not Water for some reason. Where Shadow's reverse uh, boss door loading zone crashes and Jabu's puts you out of bounds. Well, yeah, you can't leave any of the adult boss rooms, but even then, uh, forest, forest, fire, spirit, for yeah, forest, fire, and spirit all work properly, even though you can't normally leave the boss door. And then shadows and waters are glitched. Thanks. Thanks, every sub. Hell, every kid. What is this six hour nonsense? The worst seed I have gotten. Although it's partially my fault because I put on scarce items. Because I wanted to nerf certain items, and I nerfed 
items a bit too much. No, six hours is not common. My average has been like three and a half to four hours. Scarce items removes one of every capacity upgrade. So one bomb bag, one bow, one slingshot, one magic, um, and then one of the stick and nut capacity upgrades. And also reduces the number of chew packs. There's only three chew packs now. Whereas there used to be between five and ten. Uh, wallets are unchanged because uh, higher wallets can actually do something different in that they can allow you to buy items that you couldn't buy before. So same with long shot, like each wallet is technically unique, and, he, and hookshot and longshot are technically unique. Same with strength. That's why those are not changed. It's only specifically capacity. Capacity that doesn't have some kind of unique change to it. Ganon's Castle? DC. Well, I can go straight to the end. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go straight to the end and just see what's at the end first. Yeah, the seed, the seed will do anything but except for let me find Ganon's castle. Just check these real quick. Said Rock Dove. I think it's a uh, Lady Corgi. Ah, uh, no, the other bomb bag was in GTG, not DC. Huh? Is that a shared flag thing? That must be a shared. That must be a shared flag thing, right? Wait, was the bus door open? Okay, obscure OOT mechanics rant time. So, there's this thing that was found when wrong warps are found, where if you wrong warp from one dungeon to another, temporary flags from one dungeon will carry over to the next dungeon. Uh, for example, like if you wrong warp from Fire Temple to Water Temple, and, and Fire to Forest Temple, and you hit a switch in Fire Temple, it can activate the same flag, like, yeah, the same flag in the same place in memory in Forest Temple. And so I think what just happened with that switch there is I think that must be a shared flag with something in Shadow. And Randomizer may not properly account for the shared flag thing. And because I went directly from one dungeon to another dungeon, it might not clear the shared flags correctly. But I would think that it would because that should be something that Randomizer should be aware of. But for some reason... This one wasn't, but I don't know. Anyway, please, this is bottom of the wall. Oh my god, and it's vanilla too. That's so bad. That means for child to get here, child has to go through shadow. Or I can void warp in if I get Furrow's Wind.
Oh, we know this first. Er, wait. Oh, I forgot to do this. Okay, well, anyway, my, my priority right now should just be finding, um... Forest and fire boss keys. I really just need to find Ganon's castle. That's all I should really care about. Uh, DC can have fire boss key. This is part of the regional. Wait, I should do this first. This is part of the regional part of Fire Temple for Fire Boss Key, which means that Fire Boss Key can be in here. I might call it soon. Depending on how much longer this goes, I might actually call it soon. Because this is getting long. But, I mean, I'm reasonably close to the end. This is Metroid Prime menu slash credits theme. I don't know that Lighter Rose is here. Uh, I still don't know where Ganon's castle is, and so I'm trying to find it. And so I'm looking for boss keys. And uh, specifically, I know fire boss key can be here. Oh, come on. So I'm kind of hoping to find fire boss key here. I should probably hydrate. I will hydrate in a minute. Oh, come on. I will hydrate right now. Give it up for year six of No Prime 4 news. Oh my god. <clears throat> Pretty convinced at this point that it's it's gotta be for Switch 2 or whatever. There's no way it's coming out for Switch at this point. Dude. 
Apparently, there's a rumor that uh, Nintendo's next console is supposed to be like late 2024, which I think makes sense. Even if it's not a rumor, that just like kind of naturally makes sense. But maybe Prime Four stuff around that time. Yeah, I can't believe there's still no updates, but at the same time, if they are planning it for the next console, I guess they can't give updates, because that would kind of just leak it. Please don't tell me that it didn't make the block that I wanted to go away go away. Oh my- Dude, literally, it's right there. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need it. I can just do this. This is why I usually don't use Song of Time in here, even when I have Song of Time. So no fire boss key here. I think forest is the next plus best place to go and hope that uh hope that um I can find forest boss key and forest temple. Cuz the regional the regional part of for forest is a uh, Forest Temple, Deku Tree, Sacred Forest Meadow, Lost Woods, Kukiri Forest, and I've already checked the other places pretty thoroughly. I mean, there's still more I can check, but for now, I think this, just go with this. Missing Ganon's Castle and Light Arrows, but I need to find Ganon's Castle. I really went early. That's why I saved there. Thanks for the reset, Isaac. If I take too long, can I be case seven instead of quitting? Maybe. If I don't find anything in Forest Temple, maybe I'll BK skip. Okay, I know why I failed the last time, I'm done.
Chris. That's nice. I uh, know, the gold salt in the basement is only in vanilla. This is Master Quest Forest. Don't forget this chest, like I always do. No, this is not a second seed. This is the first seed of the day. First and only seed of the day. Six and a half hours, and I have a wallet. Oh, 
Uh, this is a problem. I need two keys, and I only have one. Uh, don't know where Lighthouse is because I still haven't found Ganon's castle. I think I should save scum this. Or it might not matter save scumming this. Well, right now what I'm doing is I need to find Ganon's castle and I now have narrowed it down to that it must be behind either forest or fire boss door. So now I'm looking for forest or fire boss key. Pretty sure this is useless anyway. I'm not gonna be able to get through the next room. Very cool. I can't even see the key door. I just wanna verify that it's the key door in Master Quest. Yeah. Okay, I gotta just leave. Uh You guys okay if I just do a BK skip? Everyone look away. It's Gans Castle, oh my god. Actually, I should have done the clip. I'll just do it right now. Hammer was impossible because it was on Ocarina of Time and Ocarina of Time requires all three spiritual stones and one of the spiritual stones was from Volvagia. So I can't, uh, so I can't get it. Dude. Uh, when it looks like I'm throwing a bomb into nowhere, what I'm probably doing is getting the infinite sword glitch, which is this glitch right here, where my sword is swinging infinitely. 
And it's most commonly gotten off of a bomb, but you can get it off other stuff too. So usually when I'm- if you see me put- put down a bomb and then try to stab it and then throw it, uh, I'm probably getting infinite sword glitch. Yeah, the throwing part isn't part of getting the infinite sword glitch, it's just that I don't want to get hit by the bomb, because if I do, I'll lose it. I'll lose the glitch. Ganon's Castle was behind a uh, forest boss door, which I definitely totally got the boss key for. And no one will question it. Water Temple. Uh, that's that's not bad actually, because I have Wallaby and Long Shot. In fact, can I get everything without Iron Boots if I have Wallaby? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Central Pillar. Uh, actually, no. I think it'd be cool if it's Central Pillar, because then I get to do the Din's Actor Glitch. Actually, wait. No, I don't even- I have lullabies, I don't even need to do that. Oh, I should just play a warp song. Uh... Just save warp. But yeah, if... Uh... If I had Iron Boots but not lullaby, I could do... Din's Actor Glitch, but I actually have lullaby, and with lullaby I can just... Lower the water and then clip out of bounds at the bottom of the room. So, uh, I'm pretty sure, no matter what check it is in for Simple, I'm able to do it. Did I say Forest? I meant Water Temple. Oh, no one corrected me. Okay. No, I'm just dumb. I mean, when people- when I think when I'm talking about routing and like doing what I can and can't do or what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty sure 90% of chat is just smiling and nodding. And not actually knowing what- what I'm really saying. I already checked the skull here. So I'm gonna have to save Scum, uh, checking Dark Link's room. Calling dumb? I'm not calling you dumb, I literally asked chat this before. I literally asked chat a while ago, like, Hey, how much do you guys actually, like, understand when I'm explaining the routing and stuff, and most people just said, like, we smile and nod. Yeah. I mean, there's a decent number of you that understand a decent amount, but, like, I don't blame people for not getting a lot because this game's complicated. And all the ranting about what I can and can't do with various sets of items. And where all the dungeons are and bosses are in relation to entrance randomizer and everything. It gets complicated, so I don't blame people.
Yeah, I, I find it I find it funny how a lot of people say they like like to watch the stream to turn their brain off or like to sleep or whatever. When uh, it's like, if you really wanted to pay attention and really know what's going on, it's like very complicated and you have to really turn your brain on and stuff. But you can also just turn your brain off and just be like, smile and nod. Yeah, I do the I do the thinking so you don't have to. Come on. Actually, wait, do I have to save scum this? Uh I think I can actually not save scum it, but I'm kinda worried if I do no. I should be fine, yeah. Because I already checked the uh, bottom area. Actually, well, okay. There was one key in the bottom area that I didn't get, but I saw. And that could have been like a forest key or something. Or it could have been a GTG key, which doesn't matter. <clears throat> How are these new rules rough? Uh, Ganon's Castle actually wasn't chained too far, it was just forest leading to Ganon's Castle. Oh, I already got this right. Yeah. I will do this again. Uh, I do want to test out scarce items more. I don't think it's going to be this bad every time. And I, I do feel like... Overall, because I, I have been wanting harder seeds. Harder, more like... Um, Less free explosive seeds, like, explosive just never feels like I need to work for it. And I do kind of want that more. So, and again, I, I want, I want a large sample size, or at least a decent sample size, before I really make a decision on settings, like, I don't want to do one run of this and say, oh my god, scarce item so bad. There's a forest key. I don't have a diving scale. I can... Okay, here, let me do this. Uh, let me do this first. Scale in the shop was over 200, 285, yeah. This is bad, I can't. If I fail this, I can't do the backup to get back in. So I have to save warp out. That's annoying.
No, I never got the Poe Hover, but thankfully I didn't need it. Lightrohan is Water Temple, so it's it's here somewhere. And I only, I only have a few things left to check. Wait, can I do this with water at lowest? I don't know if I can. I definitely can't. Or can I? I actually can do something weird here. Actually, I might as well... I can do this, yeah. Okay, here we go. Which extra left? Uh, there's a chest um, to the right here, and then there's a chest in the bottom of the central pillar. I think those are the only two checks left. But I only need this one. There's light arrows. I am now in go mode six hours and 45 minutes later. Well, go mode asterisk. Hey, everyone, I need you to close your eyes for a second again. Well, okay, you know what I have? Because I got the for uh, one more forest key, I can check the rest of forest simple. I'm gonna see if Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get Forest Temple Bosky here. Because maybe one of the last checks I can get is Forest Bosky. Even if it is Forest Bosky, I still have to BK skip again because the elevator's down now. And I can technically skip it, but it's dumb without hover boots. And I don't want to do it. But for the sake of. Just trying it out. Fastest rando is like uh, a bit under two hours. I'm in, I'm in cheater go mode because I did a bosky skip earlier. Uh. I'm seeing if I can find Forest Boss Key in the last few checks in Forest Temple. Uh, even if I find it, I'm still gonna have to boss skip again anyway.
And check the spoiler log twice, yeah. I'm just cheating everywhere today. It's so weird that this chest is in a different place than in vanilla, but it's just like moved slightly. I looked at the log when I was like three or four hours in and I just had no items and was having trouble finding any checks and so I just I didn't check like the full log I checked the log until I found something that I thought okay wait I can actually use this to start getting somewhere and then at first it was bottle and then bottle didn't get actually get me anywhere and then it was choose and then from choose I was actually able to get up to here so I only I only checked this spoiler log a little bit. I only cheated a little. Okay, everyone close your eyes again. <laughs> Don't stare at me like that. Sorry, I just want this to be over. Oh, I should be using- I haven't been using Bunny Hood this whole time, I really should have. Gamma for seven hours. You mean like above or below seven hours? It's definitely under seven hours. There's no way this takes me more than ten minutes. It should take me less than five minutes. No, it's not even it's not even a surely, it's like a literally I have to be so bad for this to take 10 minutes. I could die to Ganondorf and I'll still finish in time. camera I'm gonna blame bunny hood for that I couldn't get in position oh my god okay I can't blame bunny hood for that that one I'm just bad I don't have magic. <laughs> Still gonna be under 10 minutes.
Why the BK skip? Because I'm tired. Too fast. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty quiet. That took a while. Another one? Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna do another one right now. Let me do another seven hour seat right now. No. I am not gonna do that. Okay, let's check spoiler log for this incredible seed. All right, here's the log for you guys to check. All right, first thing, uh, let's check where fire and forest boss keys were. Uh, boss key fire temple was in fire temple. Okay. Um. Forest boss key was Colossus scrub grotto. Where is Colossus Scrub Grotto? That was the Second Forest Meadow Song of Storms Grotto. So, uh, where is Song of Storms? Graveyard Shield Grave Chest. Where is Graveyard Shield Grave Chest? Hyrulefield Cow Grotto. Okay, so the one the grotto near GV, grotto near Grotto Valley in Hyrule Field had Song of Storms. Bomb Tree Salesman had Scale. Bomb in the Well had Hover Boots. Okay, so Hover Boots was basically I was never gonna get it. Where was Furore's Wind? I needed Furore's Wind if I realistically wanted to get into. Lonlon Scrub Grotto. Lonlon Scrub Grotto is DMT Cow Grotto. I never. Oh yeah, of course I never checked that because by the time I got explosives, I just forgot about it. Okay, so Furrow's Wind was uh, D the one of the grottos on DMT that didn't need Song of Storms. So I actually could have gotten Mirror Shield was on Archery. Fantastic. <clears throat> I 
Okay, where were the other bomb chews? Because there's only three bomb chews. So one... So the second one was uh, Market Bomb Chew Bowling. So that was Bomb Chew Locked Bomb Chews. And the third one was Water Temple Central Pillar Chest. So the bomb chews I got in uh the bomb chews I got in Jabu were basically my only possible chews. Yeah, the last water check. That's literally the worst water check too. Uh so where was strength? Cuz so if I got another strength upgrade, I could have gotten a bomb bag earlier, but I didn't, obviously. Uh, Gruta Training Ground Lobby, and... Lon Lon Ranch Right Cow. Uh, let me see where Gruta Training Ground- Gruta Training Grounds must have been be behind Fireboss Door, right? Yeah, so Fireboss Door led to Gruta Fortress, or yeah. And Fire Boss Key was in Fire Temple. So if I wanted to get to Gerudo Fortress, I would have had to get Feroar's Wind, set Feroar's Wind in Fire Temple, Void Warp in from Spirit Temple, go through most of Fire to find the Fire Boss Key. Then I go to the Fire Boss Door, which leads to Gerudo Training Grounds. And then I can get Strength in there. Uh, yeah, this would have been possible without boss key skips. I needed to get Song of Storms, and then a Song of Storms grotto led to Forest boss key. Uh, so Song of Storms was possible. I missed it earlier. So... It was doable. Hover Boots was in Bomb of the Well. Which, Bomb of the Well was at the end of DC, and DC was at the end of Shadow. So I would have had to... And Shadow was at the end of Water, so... If I wanted to go to Bomb of the Well as Child, I would have had to... Hover to Ice Cavern entrance. Ice Cavern entrance leads to Water Temple. I hover to the boss door as child, which leads to Shadow. I go through all of Shadow as child, which leads to DC. I finish DC, I find Bomb of the Well. And then there I can find Hover Boots. So, yes, rough. Uh, yeah, so I could have done it without boss key skips. Uh, I wouldn't have said it would have added an hour. Well, it probably would have added an hour not knowing where to look, but... Well, actually, it might not have even lasted an hour. I'm not sure. But if I knew where to look, it would have been relatively quick. Probably would have taken five, ten minutes. I'm not really sure what I would have checked first. I don't, I don't think it would have taken that long. Although I might have tunnel visioned onto fire boss key at that point. Thanks for the resubs, Randon. Okay, but anyway, uh, I think I'm done for now. So thanks for watching. Instead of saving and coming back the next day, I generally don't want to do that. I really want to finish the seed in one one go. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. Bye bye.